Gobo for inspiration, you're like, he's just having fun, bro. Like, he's yeah. not, he is not doing, like, the most optimal, yeah, really technical, not. like, he is just doing what he thinks is funny and good, and <laughs> it's it makes him such a hard player to prep for, because every other Gold Lewis structures everything in one way, or every other Zalto player does things in one lane, and then he does not, as we see, so bad guy up against Gold Lewis, and I think this is a very good matchup for Gold Lewis. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Now, I mean, obviously, see, this is another one of the interesting things about the different regions, like, US, like, has so little faith in Soul Bad Guy right now. But we have a Soul Bad Guy from EU, a Soul Bad Guy from Japan, so clearly this character, very, very strong in the right hands and skill, is the kind of player he loves Bandit Revolver. I think he is the best Bandit Revolver user I've ever seen. Mm, I love that right there. Great matchup knowledge, by the way, against Gold Lewis. If you do 6S into a uh, Bandit Bringer like that, you can go over the drone. It's a really useful option. 5P challenge. And you know, the thing is, is that there's actually uh, a couple of good Gold Lewis players in other places in the world. One of them in Europe, I asked Gil, he was playing with Smoiv, which I'm not surprised. Smoiv, very strong Gold Lewis player, streams all the time, and is someone to look out for if you're looking for someone in that region. Minigun catches the back dash, and tie security gauge, this is a hard knockdown. Well, and there we go, the pressure time, and look at that. Skill not scared at all, trying to just bust out with that DP. Good defense, you see the spacing right there, staying out of the range of that 5S. Yeah, and you see a lot of dash up preemptive buttons there from Skill, looking to dash 6P, catch the jump early, 2K, 2D on the stagger, and yeah, very well controlled. The way to play this matchup as Soul is a lot of dash forward initiate when you're close enough to challenge with 6P or something to beat him out of the air, because generally, you don't really want to stay far away and just you know try to play footsies, because Gold Lewis's ground game is so good. It jumped D in his far slash, oh, really good, no. calls out the back dash. Yeah. He's gonna have the uh, super here, doesn't go for oh, it, tries to bait the try, burst. Yeah, I was trying to bait out a burst, but doesn't matter. He's gonna get the kill here anyway. No burst coming out of skill, because that would be definitely a salty burst right there. Yeah, you, you have to kind of burst round one or round three against a character like Gold Lewis, because if you burst too early, what ends up happening is you won't build another one. He'll right. just kill you before you get the chance. Exactly. And so trying to send out that drone, and it is gonna find the mark. And here we go, Gobo trying to push to the corner over here. And look at this again, Skill showing no fear with these DPs, because if you whip that DP against Gold Lewis, you might just be dead. Yeah, it's going to be super bad. His punishes are going to be humongous. Again, looking to call it the backdash. That's a common option while we see that behemoth mid-screen, and uh, Gobo just doesn't find it. Not quite the wall break. Keeps it, and oh, he hits with the super here. It's the 5k recovery. Oh. <laughs> There we go, and now Gobo here oh. chases down him. Uh, Skill trying to get away, not enough to kill just yet. Skill does have a burst. Is he gonna try to go for a gold burst to get some meter? Yeah, you see that ID back to Tommy S. Oh, oh that was tried. so he good. He tried. Yeah, looking for the gold burst. I love the patience from Gobo. This is a huge confirm, though. Yeah. Oh, he's too heavy. Yeah, doesn't get the wall splat. However, he does keep the corner pressure. The counter hit, but Gobo's got the burst. Skill oh. baits it out, and then what? A scramble and a tap. Us, and Skill gonna steal that round right there and go up 1-0. Yeah, he didn't want to burst on the 5H, but after the Bandit Revolver hit, just immediate hard call out on the burst with the 5K jump cancel. And yeah, 6H punish on the burst, it's not the best there. You can get way more, but it was just like the safe punish, right? He was just right. picked an option that was going to be consistent there. So, you know, he just tried to do something in that scenario. But yeah, we saw Gobo doing air dash back into the um, the 6A4 behemoth. Wow. As he gets an early burst off the table, yeah. Yeah, that's important right there. But of course, you know, being so early, like you said, Gobo might, will probably be able to build that back in time. Yeah, Gold Lewis is tanky, as you'd probably expect. He's got the health to work with. And he can slug with a character like Soul. He's got really good damage, and his reward is so strong. Wow, the IB, and then he got that. Oh, he, that, that combo route was kind of burst safe. It can be burst safe and still give you a combo at the same time. But Skill had a little bit of awkward timing, delayed burst in that situation. So he did get the hit. Oh, no, knock. Wow, but the drone, he didn't fall back into the drone over there. And he's going to catch the back dash here. So Skill now with the pressure in the corner. Oh, and a little too far, the Bandit Revolver catches that far slash, but a little bit of a drop. RC here, double spot on the wall. I'm and telling it's you, man, Skill, he uses Bandit Revolver like I'm, like he loves that move. He will throw that move out in neutral, and it works so well. Mm -hmm. Finds the far slash. One thing that you don't see Gobo do a lot, he's not really like a I'm a grounded footsie kind of player. Wow, that IV right there was really good. It actually pulled him in and made the behemoth in on the dead zone there. Uh, there's like a spot right next to him where that behemoth does not hit at all. Yeah, so you could definitely see skill having that experience. But nice chase out on the back dash with that BRC. And now again, the DP in the middle of the pressure. Yeah, and I mean, honestly, DPing against Gold Lewis like that, Gold Lewis player, his pressure is so good, they rarely bait DP because they're like, my pressure is so good, why would I? You know, <laughs> why give up pressure when you can bait something like that? Oh, safe jump. And 
tried to beat the burst so hard, skill ends up doing it anyway. 2P anti-air. Such a good move for Gold Lewis as an anti-air. I just wonder, was that the right burst right there for skill? I mean, so look, he's so down in life right now. Might have wanted to save it for the next round, but he should be able to build it up before this round is over, unless Gobo just gets a good sequence and deletes him. Yeah, and slugging, I mean, that far slash is a really scary move to contest with Soul I guess, as Gold Lewis. Generally, you want to beat it by doing dash 6P or something if you want to be preemptive, but, you know, then he can call that out with Behemoth and all kinds of other stuff. Oh, Dead Zone. <laughs> My goodness. Spooky spot, 2K buffer gets the hard knockdown and safe jump. Gobo's been doing that a lot. That is a huge starter. Wall bounce oh, here. Gosh, look at this damage. It just goes, uses that for the pressure. That should do it right there. Yeah, exactly. And great confirm from Gobo, too. He saw the uh, Behemoth hit, immediate RC, 5H into the wall bounce. He still had the height there to go for that, and he knew that the wall was not going to splatter. Really good awareness. Okay, but here we go. It's going to be 1-1 one, one again. As we mentioned earlier, it's three out of five this entire way. So they both have two games left to go. Mm -hmm. Dash block at the round start. 2K, 2D, a really good option. Gives you a nice little hard knockdown. And there is a gap, too, between 2K2D from Gold Lewis, so, oh, oh that finally, is Oh, finally, there we go. Here's the bait, and yeah, you can see this damage here. Take him all the way to the corner, force him to block with the drone. Goes <gasps> low, but what? That he was... First the burst. Interesting. Yeah, probably not what he was looking for, but weird scramble works oh, out there. Oh, back dash got out of the way, and I, I feel like Skill thinks he's going over him, and so yeah. he just keeps getting hit from the front. You can make that jump H across him so easily, too. Right. It's really good for that kind of stuff. Look at the, the jump movement by Gobo. Super jumping, and then instead of just landing in the front, does an air dash to throw off the 6P timing. His, his air movement's really excellent. Here we go, the counter hit now for skill. And here we go, more pressure here. Gonna get the wall splat. Gonna spend the meter, get the hard knockdown and the positive meter bonus. How is he gonna approach this? Go for a safe jump? Nope, just dashes right in. Mm, looks for that wild throw right after the 2K hit Gobo anyway. And round of peace here. No burst on the table either, which could mean this is a very explosive potential final round. Ooh. See No Fear whiffing that 5S and then just going for it again. Oh, that time catches with the 6S. Yeah, just tried to be a little cheeky with the drone and Skill not having it to chase down. Big counter hit for Skill and once again going for the hard knockdown through the wall. Yeah, that's so much damage. When it's like two hits in a super like that for Soul, it's really Ooh. damaging, caught the back dash. Easy peasy confirm from skill. I love that and goes up 2-1 here over Gova. With the perfect as well. So again, EU going up against Japan here and you know, we are setting some tones over here right now. Yeah, and I think we're gonna see the switch to Zato. Ooh, okay. So does that mean uh, uh, we're, we're switching over to uh, to we're switching too? We're tagging too. in, we're tagging in, we're tagging in. All right, here we go. Zato There's the tag the right there. Building. We'll see if we can get it done, right? You talked about how Golu definitely has a good amount of options up against Soul. I think Zato is similar. I know, or at least we heard that he does not like this matchup for Zato that much. That Gobo actually thinks Soul gives Zato some trouble. I would be on the other side of things, but we'll see how it plays <laughs> out. Personally, I think Zato has been one of the better characters since the beginning at yeah, dealing with yeah. Soul. But, I mean, it's been a long time since the beginning, right? We'll see how both players are prepared for each other. Now, you mentioned also, Sejam, that Smoiv is a great Gold Lewis in Europe, right? Also has played plenty against Latif. So, Skill has <laughs> matchup experience against top-level characters from both mm. Gobo sides. Oh, DP <laughs> took out Eddie right there. So now you got to see that Eddie Gage building up. Going to use the burst to try to cover up that Eddie Gage recovery. Oh, gets Eddie Gage. Yeah, he's still done such a good job blocking the cross-ups that he gets hit in the front a couple of times, right? We saw it up against Cole Lewis. We're seeing it up against Zato as well with that jump D. The quick, actually, Eddie ran out, so he didn't Ooh, get hit. But the zoom in gets here. stuffed. I got three frames on this 5K. <laughs> I don't care how fast you coming in. And going to keep him in the corner. This is going to be the splat here. And again, uses that meter to go through the wall. And boom, there we go. Uh -huh. Just needs one more hit. Guess for game at this point. Oh, just the tap does. And I was going to say, Zato, not a thick boy like Gold Lewis. You don't <laughs> got as much health to play with, fam. All right, so skill right now at match point over Gobo. Like I said, he's the one who did come out here to the US and blew everybody up. Yeah, won the Rebel Kumite Las Vegas. All right. Oh, nice check with that 5P, one of the Zato player's favorite buttons right there. And of course, the drill party as well, acting as an anti-air, blowing up the bandit. Now taps him in the dome, but we're gonna keep this corner, go with the empty low here. That should be a slump god, yep. indeed. 
Ski Mask is on. Are we going to steal this round? Oh, yeah, but into the Amorphous. Should be enough damage. We'll be close. Oh, oh my it's goodness. not enough. A bad guy. Oh, the my gosh. Living through. Oh, is he, are we getting the protag? Oh, that was, that so, was so smart. Okay, yeah, yeah. The Bagdash BRC killing off the Eddie. Now, uh, Gobo did have the 5P of the gods ready for his next se sequence, but still. Yeah, just to kill Eddie and land safely yeah, like that yeah, was, that was genius. Oh, there's that check again from uh, Gobo, but you see Skill getting out of the corner right now. But you are getting locked down. Nice block, but this time the empty low. Yeah, Gobo doing a great job just using the slow down the block stun to actually get a high low mix up without Z or Eddie in that instance. And you see right there, Skill, no, oh, actually just gets caught by the gaping maw there. See him cancel it to the oppose. Oh, oh just let him go into it. Oh, good timing on that burst, but again, great movement by Gobo. That was the left and neutral right there. The hover jump age. Led that man to Evo top eight. Yeah. Oh. 6P here. Gobo definitely doing a good job in this third round recovery. Oh but just as oh I boy. say that oh skill, boy. what a conversion off the air to air, forcing the first stop from Gobo. But you're still locked in this corner, fam. You escaped for now. Can skill weather the storm. Brave block on the tap does come <laughs> back to back with it. Finally cracks him open. Gonna double tap right there and get the dust attack, the overhead, got to block that high. And so now we're at two to two. It looked like it was going skills way, but the change right now for Gobo is paying off. Indeed, that was, the, I wouldn't call it a surprise pick, right? But it was the first game that Skill had to fight the Zato after fighting the Gold Lewis. Now he's got a game of Intel. Still a very scary position for Gobo to be in. Mm -hmm. So here we go, trying to get this corner pressure right there using Just the tough five, frog. Yeah. No amphibians, bro. Punch Eddie right there. Oh, right, jumping right over the gun flame. Yeah, he tried the far edge, just a bit outside of range. Gobo was able to hit him with the raw drill party right there. Yeah, the meaty drill, acting as plus frames, getting the tick throw afterwards. Gobo is cooking. Oh, oh wait, wait up the stage. <laughs> Oh, right. But again, you see Gobo with that 5P check has been working so well, and here we go. Gobo gets the wall break, gets the victory, and now Gobo is at match point. He's really found his footing for sure in this matchup. You can see it's definitely doing a good job, but old what? school anti-air from Soul right there. 2D <laughs> the god. Go under everything. Hey, hey that's been a prominent anti-air for him oh, for yeah. a long, long time. Ooh. All right, so this round looking good for skills so far, but this is Guilty Gear Strive. Things can turn around so fast. I'm a Zato fanboy, but let me get that last round. I want <laughs> drama, I want electricity. Oh, skill nice. skill deliver just that. Look nice at that conversion. conversion. But it wasn't the wall splat. Oh, oh, he tried to kill with everything that he had. Yeah. Still is going to be able to get the victory, and we're at final game. Final round here in game number one for Guilty Gear Strive. Let's go. Beautiful stuff. Oh, and Gobo gets caught flinching during the first block string. Forced the first early. Doesn't get a punish on the 6H. I don't know. Expecting skill to come out, bust out with something. Yeah, I was scared. Maybe oh, he was scared he was just going to cancel into a DP out of nowhere. Oh, I don't think skill was. Oh, maybe he was trying to DP there. And Gobo has been hard baiting these bursts time and time again. It has not worked out for him. Yeah, skill, skill kind of has a read on that, maybe. And now, oh, nicely done. There's the burst. There's the burst. It was smart to burst before he got locked down in the trade with the gun flame. Actually worked out in his favor, but Eddie already back. And corner pressure. He has blocked that tap dust so many times. The YRC finds the hit. Oh, he didn't combo off of that. He didn't believe. You see the Hezzy 5K right there. He was trying to get him to <laughs> flinch. Great defense from Gobo. We're out of the corner. Quick little fly, but get your butt back in there. Oh, no, he missed the jump slash. He sandwiched up all the empty low afterwards. And he's got the meter. Oh, no. He put the oppose on top of him, trying to sneak in a command throw. Skill took to the skies, and he backdashes. He converts the combo. Skill sends combo to losers in the first round. I had commented that before that he loves dash blocking. Like, yeah. that's his favorite thing. And, like, in between Nago's strings, like the strings, he'll dash oh, yeah. and block. Just to, And then also IB it just to keep the pressure going. That they blame the beast before the match. Like, the custom oh. blame the beast. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Heaven yeah. or hell, it's about to get real. Nagariyuki versus Soul Bad Guy. Oh, Game dude. number two here for Guilty Gear Strive. Yo, crowd, you still with me? Make some noise one time for this Guilty Gear Strive. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. Let's go. And
And again, Nubenheimer, so new to this game, so new to the FGC, but coming out here and already being such a threat. Look at this, just starting out uh -oh. with no fear at all. So a good DP from Mochi. I like that you said no fear. I feel like the only time you're actually playing soul is when you hit these block string DPs. That's when I know you're playing soul. Wow, BRC not gonna work. Oh, yeah, oh, he's just like doing that. It. Give me more, Mochi. Oh, no, 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 I'm no, not like there that, we though. Go. Jeez, you died. Okay, Beyblade that was right not. There. Yeah, that's, Nubenheimer. No, no. Don't listen to me. That's why I'm here. You're there. And of course, you know, we had, as we mentioned earlier, three U.S. players. I mean, somebody at this table might have put two of the U.S. players against each other. Mm. But Nubenheimer here going up against Mochi from Japan. So we had EU Japan, and now we've got America versus Japan here. And, and I love that we talk about how the matchup has changed because, like, there's been, you know, you have to be able to fight Nago in this game now. So it's always scary when you run up to one in a bracket, especially to be the best player in the world at this Ooh. point. Ooh, PRC this time around. Try to step on the J. Soul says no. Yeah, PRC quick cancel to that throw. Gonna have to be building that blood meter a little bit back up. You see right there, finally got to level two. That I B right there in yeah. the 5K punish. Oh, he's so close to bursting right there. You see right there, he had it perfectly calculated. It was like pixels away. Uh -oh. Oh, back Fukio right there to try to keep the distance from Soul. And small early button out of Fukio. 2H to stop the jump in 5P to get the round. That 2H counter hit. Every time you see Nago land that counter hit on 2H, you know pain is coming. Bro, the font just screams at you, bro. The <laughs> counter, I'm like, I know, dude, I'm floating. I know, game, I'm floating. Okay. Oh, oh the, the clap, the clap, the finger that, roll, air throw. And again, one point five years in Guilty Gear, and still using one of the classic anti airs right there of the series. Can we talk about how Mochi is I being these strings just to stay a little closer, potentially yeah. get punishes against Nago? Oh, there we go. Nice the conversion. side switch. Yeah, but actually, I don't think the side switch is preferable to him. Oh, look at that cross up, and now the burst from Nubenheimer. He wants this round. Good block on the 2H, good YRC. Stops the pressure. Fault is going to push back a little bit. Backdash and a small Fukio back once yeah. again. Almost got the pickup there. And here we go, Nubenheimer. And there you go for the pressure and goes for the command throw right away. Goes for the double close slash pressure, trying to find a single hit right there. What a, what back a backdash. Oh, he's okay. still the other backdash, but too far away, and Nubenheimer just checks with the 2K 2D. Great placement. Oh, oh, man. God, Nubenheimer is getting so good by health right here. This is going cool. to hurt. Do it again. Oh, I see death. You can see it in the reflection of the blade. <laughs> Look at how much life is going to melt off of soul Glass. right here. Nubenheimer oh. just needs one good hit right here. Guess for game? 5K again. Faultless himself out. Answers with the 5K. Oh, wow. Empty low after the RC. Yep, going to keep the corner here. No wall splat off of that. Oh, Nubenheimer's good. Oh, and no burst. Gonna not let him burst here. That oh, was dead. such a smart act. Oh, Just off the right into the super. Is this gonna kill? No, it was off of the scaling. The scaling. You gotta faultless everything, because Chip is a factor. Tried to go for the air throw burst. Still alive here, but like you said, oh, watch oh, the oh, He oh, tried to make it. That was he tried like to get a cold burst in there. That was actually sick. RC? On the bandit, just to try to get the gold burst. That would have been magic, bro. <laughs> that would have been magic. I'm glad you were breathing in that. I would have needed a paper bag. That would have been crazy. I don't know if Nubenheimer just read that or he was scared. 100% but he intentional. 100, I, I mean, I, I feel like Mochi did it intentionally. And Nubenheimer, I just felt like... Oh, he didn't defense. get the combo off the landing, unfortunately. 5P keeps the corner. Yeah, here we go. This pressure over here. Mochi, you see the dash block again. Oh, no. Tried to move and the fast cancel off the PRC. Mochi can't find his way out of there. Gets the big hit. Here we go. Counter hit combo. Oh, big Another counter one. once again. You're definitely dead. Yeah, he's got all this meter over here off the wall. Splat. Super Mochi not going down yet. Okay, okay. All right, all right. 5k to stop any preemptive dashes. Yeah, that is a lot of blood meter built up right there by Nubenheimer, but he's got himself at level two, which is where he wants him to be. Oof. 5k once again. 
Guggenheimer looking re real brave with some of these normals in the neutral <laughs> versus soul. And you see like Mochi kind of read it, hit the 6S far, pretty far out. And again, Nubenheimer is just willing to play this little bit of a neutral game here, but now Nuben, I'm mean, sorry, Mochi gets in here, has the pressure. Uh oh. Fallis is a little bit delay on that far S coming from Nubenheimer. Man, these PRCs are doing work for him. Well, because he was going into the command throw before, and so I think that's what Mochi is looking for, and so now he's going into the kicks to catch him. Oh. Got to be careful on that delay gap. Oh, look at that, Fukio. Oh. Stay pressure oh. over here, but he's at a level two now. Danger. He can't do any more special moves, and here we go. No Mochi gets the hit. Still alive. Checks First. with the 5P on the dash. The 2P, excuse me. The what? check! Oh, that's the 5P check on the bandit. My man was ready. What? Nubenheimer, no fear. He's at match point against Mochi. That faultless defense pushes back just a little bit. Oh, okay. oh but he didn't cancel into anything. Oh, oh, look at the blood gauge. Those normals, those sword normals, bro. Uh-oh. Oh, now the throw's coming in. Oh, the classic whip close slash. What am I going to do? No super. He didn't super. That would have been it. PRC stops any approach. Gives you a chance to react. What a block, but he's got a burst. He tried for it again. Nubenheimer is going crazy, but Nubenheimer also has the meter oh, right the here. Two hit. Here comes Mochi for the comeback, but the throw RCOS. Nubenheimer 3-0 over Mochi. And you and you guys talked about how he'd be much happier fighting Chip than probably Geo. I mean, he gets a more the Botho and the clone in there. Yeah, he's dead. Right? He's, right. He's, he's dead. I wouldn't play that. Look, I, I'm a Chip guy. No, we don't do that. Yeah. I would not do that myself. But here we go. And just to talk about it, I'm glad you said that. The Chip came out at Evo Japan. Mm -hmm. It didn't get the job done. The Geo was real, really got it done. I feel like the knockdown pressure is going to be a little better for Geo. She's got the multiple hit normals. She really does keep you honest. And now you got to be careful of the cross ups as well. But here we go. Go. And Giovanna, I think one of the criticisms against her, right, is that, oh my goodness, the 6P to start off, very popular round start up against Ram Lethal, right? She's got great range on her mid-range normals. But because of, like, her being a little bit simplistic, I think that lets you kind of let your mental yeah. go against the character, right? Like, you get to think more about what your opponent wants to do and focus on that. Yeah, and so far we see this from Ty right now, doing a great job keeping the corner, but Zando gets out, but there's the counter hit from T.Y. Yeah, just put it and in her guts. Oh, my this goodness. This is the game that Geo is really good at. I feel like it kind of goes hand in hand with the characters. T.Y. has that chip and the Geo. If they get you on the ropes, it's really hard to get them away from you. Hey, the suffocation, no breathing, real quick. Yeah, and T.Y. here now, trying to keep Zando in the corner. Look at all these checks from him, and there it is, that 2D right there from T.Y. Boy, we can already see T.Y. representing the instant box as well, very important up against Ramlethal. But now here comes Zando, has the corner position, but gets away from the corner, so doesn't have to deal with the sword explosion. And now T.Y. with all the pressure over here, good block on the DP. Oh but goodness. here we go, the side switch. Yeah, Zando didn't get caught flinching on a throw bait or anything like that. Actually presses the 2K, catches T.Y. trying to bait him out. All right, no hard knockdown here. Just an instant air dash back from Zando, actually. And now the nice throw from T.Y. T.Y. goes for the That's fuzzy. Plus. Oh, it's OK. We're blocking, but it was an air block, so it would be tough to punish. Instead, T.Y. just dashes in and gets the throw afterwards anyway. Yeah. Oh, not going to be the game just yes. yet. Zando builds the burst. What a whip punish. Ridiculous. The spacing and the timing to avoid the 5S like that yeah. and get the whip punish. Ridiculous. Yeah. And before we keep going, I just want to give some people like a behind the scenes take. Hey, the food's in the back if y'all want to go. No, okay. No, <laughs> guys, no. They, they told us we can go. <laughs> but right now, T.Y. looking to carry this momentum from that first game. All right. Zondo, back against the wall. He's good. He's comfortable here. He's found himself here time and time again. You can see the buttons out with 2K. He's done that a couple of times already. Oh, the PRC gets thrown, though. Yeah, and there we go. The counter hit right there. Forces the burst out of Zando. And just dash up DP. Going to get the big hit here. Has the super. Definitely going to be able to finish this round off right here. And there it is. The hard knockdown. Well, the hard death, I should say, through the wall. You know, and something you brought up, James, was kind of the difference of opinion of Giovanna between the regions, right? And obviously, I think T.Y. is the best Giovanna, the most yeah. well-represented one at high level. I'm not sure how much matchup experience Zondo has. Right, exactly. This is a character we just don't see a lot on, yeah. the, on the Western side of things. 
Oh, and then again, you saw the FD try to push him at a range where Ram could kind of flourish, but TY again answers on answers at every turn. Now he's gonna get the plus frames on the stage change. What are we doing with it? Oh, we try to bait out something. Zondo not gonna give it to him. Holster in that meter for now. Also has a burst Dude, look available. At this uh huh. <laughs> From TY, it's just like, like Giovanna's like moonwalking over there. She's fast, man. Got great dash speed. He's at walk speed as well. But right now, Zondo gonna make him pay. We got plus frame stage change on this side. Yeah, and oh, the, the back dash RC, RC and then the dash up throw from oh. TY. In an instance like that, right, where you backdash the BRC, you avoid the attempt of your opponent, it's hard for your opponent to get a grip on what's happening, right? Right. Like, that little moment of hesitation is gonna cost you sometimes, and it really felt like TY took advantage of that, got the throw when Zando was just thinking about it a little bit too much. And, and keep in mind, too, Zando, I mean, he's been traveling everywhere. We saw him at Combo Breaker, at Evo, he was all over the place. This guy has been traveling, doing the work. Yeah, man, and he is speed running through this set at the moment right now. Just every time he's gotten in, Zondo has not found the right defensive choice to turn the game around. Oh, here we go. Opportunity right there, gets the combo, and now the pressure towards the corner. He has, I mean, Ramathal thrives by getting you into the corner. And you noticed in this match, Zondo really has not gotten that corner position that very often. Yeah. Zondo roaring back now, though, puts a W on the board. He definitely has a good amount of support in the crowd as well. So one of the favorites are from the studio audience definitely needs some support now. All right. Oh, OK. Frame traps with the Rekka over there. But to TY just right back into there He's with the left. corner pressure. Yeah. I mean, that's what Giovanna does, right? Giovanna wants a <gasps> break dance fighting. Indeed. Zondo tries. He only catches the blue steel for his trouble. Okay, there we go. Gets the counter hit on the 2K. So they're going to be able to link into another 2K. And here we go. Pressure situation here. Zondo wants to take this right to get the win. Yep, goes for the air throw. I was going to say, with 100% tension, it was going to be so tough for him to do anything. The goal burst doesn't get big oh, punish. Oh, but you see how Giovanna's dash just got her out of that sword explosion so fast. But here we go. Is this going to kill? Indeed, both players have been backdash happy. This time, T.Y. thought he would be able to get some space with it. He gets clipped by the long-range toes from Ramlethal and Zondo. I mean, he's an expert at converting those 5K air hits. Yeah, getting the Rekka canceled into another Rekka and then had the meter right there for the RC to finish the job off. Gets on the board here, so he's got one game, but here comes Ty now. T.Y., I'm sorry. <laughs> Either way, you know, air to air. He got the counter hit as well, right? Remember that buff from a while back? giving you better conversions, the more hit oh, stuff. One hit uh, into the breakdance fighting, my goodness, T.Y. He knows the optimal conversions for Giovanna. When you want damage, you do as little normals as possible into the super. Yeah, and there you go. You just see, the, when they changed it so that she could dash and then Bruh. attack almost yeah. instantaneously, everybody was like, what is happening here? Exactly, she was already good at that, right? They only mm -hmm. made that ability more potent, so that means T.Y. even more effective than usual. Yeah, but TY at match point here. Zando trying to stay alive. Finally, the corner pressure over here. It's like one of the first times I think we've seen uh, TY block a sword explosion at all. And oh. Zando double beam dream. Let me see it. He will not go quietly into the night. Okay, so Zando staying alive here. He's either going to get this at to two to two and tie it up, or he is going to the loser's bracket. Again, the dash whip punishes from TY, so good. The dash button's so good right there. The uh, air dash also got stuffed. Yeah. Zondo doing a great job rising with his own buttons, but TY finding the ground control once again. Yeah, TY also tried to stagger those punches so he could get the sword attack on the way down and get the keep the combo going, but counter hit pressing buttons in the middle there. Oh, it tosses Zondo into the corner. The oh, break dance is fighting. Oh, gonna kill? It's not. <laughs> Him another chance. I was definitely getting ready to wrap the match yeah. up. Oh, we tried to fuzzy him, I think. Raise 6P, bro. Oh, and the Hezzy right there did catch TY pressing a look, button. He's going to burst meter, out. Look how much meter Zando has. Oh. No, but the dash 5K is still too fast. TY moving on in the winner side of the bracket. But again, Umi Show, look, we can't express enough about Umi Show showing up from the FPS scene and then in one like year cheater, becoming. Bro. I don't even know how, how do they play the game? What? How do they do that? I don't know. <laughs>
She just kept shooting, Steve. <laughs> yeah, she just exactly. Kept shooting, bro. <laughs> and now, I mean, honestly, Umisha was one of the first players to really make happy, make everybody hate happy chaos. Right? <laughs> I mean, honestly, yeah, yeah. the she, beginning. Of she the probably curse. progressed the character the quickest, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But oh. again, you see the great start here from Leo, and yeah, after that, RC, Leo's got either one or two punches that you got to guess on right there. It always cracks me up that you go for a safe jump up against the flash kick, but it's still a mix for him. Like, he's yeah. still going to uh -huh. turn the RCs, he still gets to take his turn, oh. and he still gets to put you in the grave for the first round. Yeah, again, uh, Tempest, though, I mean, honestly, it's hard not to call him the best player in NA after that Frosty Faustings win, uh, winning over Latif in one of the most nail-biting yeah. grand finals that there was. Yeah, incredible stuff, honestly, from both of those players. But Tempest has just been able to clutch it out so many times over the course of the season. Oh, oh get shot! <laughs> indeed, point blank to the dome piece right there. Being a king won't protect you from these bullets. You just like that. It's like wall break, get hit, wall break. <laughs> Let's see if it happens again. Tempest, he has the RC, and that's why Umisho not even approaching, just setting up the shot instead. Let's see here, yeah, trying to bait out, make the flash kick whip, but Umisho, one of her best qualities is her air throw game. Every time you look to escape the corner, she's gonna keep you there. So Umisho so far here, looking strong here in round number two. Looked a little vulnerable in round one, but round two showed you exactly what a happy chaos player can do. And there's that pressure right there. Doesn't go for the fuzzy. And instead, ooh, gets caught by the dash 5K. The old try to go for the overhead right there. Umisho though, we've got the chicken guard out. It was already blocking in the skies. Either way, Tempest deleting that space that Umisho thought she had. Now we're in the corner. Yep. And Umisho, one of her best skills also is that defense in the corner. Because Happy Chaos doesn't have a lot of good ways to escape that. But exactly. Umisho can survive it pretty well. What? Yeah, the PRC just paused for a moment, catch whatever Tempest did for the throw, but the jump D, oh my goodness, faded back to the original side. Umisho does get the burst off successfully. No trade combo there. It was going to be tough to convert. All those fights, and then the overhead. A lot of times you just, look, Leo players are saying, you know what, I don't care if I lose the quarter because I'm going after it no matter what. And yeah, Tasty Steve is shaking his He's like, yeah, I go in there all the time. Let He's got in. some of the best mid-screen mix, right? So yeah. like, that's another thing. He actually doesn't mind giving up the corner as much as some of the other characters. Oh, and that time was just stayed in the front. Actually, I think that was Umisho backdashing and getting yeah. caught by this fight. And there's that 2D. You know, I used to always call Giovanna's uh, 2D the, the, the Mago, the 2D god. <laughs> but, I mean, now Leo might have taken over that. Yeah, it's funny because they nerfed it, but also buffed it. Like, you know what I mean? It goes so <laughs> far now. Like, ridiculous. It just seems to always hit, so the nerfs don't come to play that much. Oh, oh no, he risks it. Yeah. No RC to make it safe, no nothing. He just believed in his reads, and maybe you shouldn't be believing as hard as you do. <laughs> and this round should go to Umisho. Umisho down 0-1 against Tempest. Again, Tempest has been one of the players who has who has consistently beaten uh, yes. Umisho in tournaments. Yeah, definitely multiple uh, tournament W's over Umisho. Oh, and I mean, it can be oh, said for so no. few players. Baits out the burst as well. Tempest looking to gain this momentum right back. Wall splat PRC and nice. does break the wall. Just to make sure he can get the wall break right there off of that PRC. Oh, oh you just oh. flash kicked in his face. Indeed, the 6K got uh, instant blocked, right? So it left him point blank. A lot of the time, uh, Legos get thrown after that. But either way, Tempest ready to cancel in a flash kick and it was successful. Oh, oh yeah, there's the mix right there. And he, oh, back to the corner again, back out of the corner. Oh my Into goodness. the corner. In there in the neck, hitting her in the Achilles heel, and then finally right in the halo. Tempest taking the second game with a perfect. Oh, man. And again, Tempest just fighting his way through this and just looking so dominant and strong. And like I said, Umisho is so good at blocking a lot of the mix-ups, even against a lot of other Leo players, such as Razo, you know, Razo, another great Leo player. That was the player that Umisho and Razo had the double KO on. But uh, I swear Tempest's mix-up is just that much harder to, to read. It's the thing, right? Tempest and Umisho, they played so much. So Tempest has a good read on what Umisho likes to do defensively. And then as you mentioned, Razo and Umisho being such close training partners, like that gives you tendencies for a different type of Leo, right? That can always come back to bite you. I know Umisho is talented and skillful, so it's probably not coming into play that much, but I mean, Tempest is right up there as well. Oh, but look at this. Here we go. Umisho is going to get this corner carry. Going to get the super through the wall. 
Yes, indeed. So we're going to get the plus frames on the stage change. No meter as well for Tempest. He's going to have to hold this. Oh, he tries the flash kick. And Umi Show, like I said, you're going to have to hold this. The dash up throw. <laughs> yeah, those uh, wake up DPs are still throwable. So if you have the right timing on that, you can catch those. Oh, the back dash. Yeah, we saw it again right there. First on the cross up, then on the overhead. But Tempest, ruthless aggression right now. Coming out, however, Umi Show gets a back throw incident. Back dash to avoid the jump Ooh. S. We still locked down in this corner, though. Yeah, Umi Show not scared of that PRC at all. Challenge right away with that 5K. Going to get the wall break. Let's see how Umi Show takes advantage of this hard knockdown. Just dashes up and oh, it's a late flash kick. That kidding? was so smart, Are you bro. Kidding? Umi Show actually dashed up and blocked to bait the flash kick and. Tempest had the exact counter for it. Like he knew the timing, right? We talked yeah. about the familiarity between these two players. That was a perfect example. Yeah, but Umi Show right now just one hit away from potentially tie. Oh, at least getting a game on the board here. So there you go. Umi Show, one, two versus Tempest right now. Nice traveling projectile. I have hit scan. <laughs> Good luck. All right, you see them both back dash right away, trying to respect each other's spaces. Indeed, now Tempest, oh yeah, he's back turn. Umi shows in the Lions then, she bursts to get out. Mm, and there's the RC to keep the pressure going. And just checking with that 5K, but unfortunately, yeah, gets in back thrown. Instant block, right, setting up the, the throw for the slash. You have to back dash, hard read the back dash as Leo to avoid that or else you're getting chucked. Yeah, and then got the uh, the focus on them, uh, on Leo as well. There we go, the oh, PRC and then anti-air with just the 5P. Here we go, big damage here. Not quite enough meter for the super, but doesn't need it. Just gets shot through the wall. From wall to wall, indeed. Beautiful stuff right there from Umi Show. Always converting. Ooh. Oh, that, the base on that gun. <laughs> Most definitely. You can hear it through the arena right yeah. now every time. It shakes me every single time he does it. Oh, and again, cutting him off at the pass. Umi Show doing a great job now on her ground and neutral. Not letting Leo kind of use the 236S, nothing to just delete that space that she's establishing. And it's crazy how much this is turning around here because if Umi Show can take this, she's gonna tie it up at 2 2. Yeah, good block by Tempest. It's always so tempting to try to hit a button after blocking that tap dust. And Umi Show gets the throw in indeed, ties it 2 2. Man. Again, you can see the familiarity on display with that RC and to do nothing when Tempest was in the air, right? <laughs> she was like, I know you're going to jump D or some nonsense like that. Like, I'm just going to chill out and wait for you to come down. That was great patience. Here we go. This is basically a one out of one now yeah. between Tempest and Umi Show, two players who are so familiar with each other. Here we go. Oh, yeah, Tempest, he's holstering the flash kick that time, right? He didn't see the instant block coming. <laughs> oh, the ankle breakers. Oh, man. Which way are we going? You stuck in the lion's low, den. Low, you can't low. get out after that. Back turn cancel. It's still my turn. Oh, I can't believe she Dude, blocked that. I got hit. Me too. Oh, what a back dash. dash as well. And now, and now Umi Show has the corner. Well, but a great. Oh, wow. Block the tap dust and no gunshot afterwards. And so Tempest now, match point over Umi Show. Here we go. Tempest, one round away from advancing in the winner's side. Umi Show. Oh, it's, I believe it's it was 6P. Oh, overhead again, right in the halo. Umi Show doesn't want to give him any more damage, but the jump back B gonna keep him locked down. Oh, dash up, you saw the respect. Oh, oh, oh it's the dash. first with the curse. Oh my god. And look at that, just like that, Umi Show tying up the round. And yeah, trying to keep this corner position. PRC to get in there with the throw. Beautiful decision right there by Tempest. Oh, again. again, back to the safe side. Overhead finally blocked here. Umi Show instant block on the cross of attempt and gets the throw punish. No fuzzy right there. The YRC does find its mark. Oh, speaking of YRC, here we go. Corner pressure, throw. Umi Show trying to keep this pressure going. Bates out the flash kick. Umi Show is going to take it to the final game. Final round. Let's go. That was the deepest jump S I've ever seen, bro. Shot him right in the shins. But as you mentioned last round, maybe between two titans of Guilty Gear Strive, two representatives in North America. Oh, back dash again to avoid. No, that was hit out of the air, but gets the overhead. Again, an overhead. Oh. Paying off so much dividends right now for Tempest. Wall slump gang. Oh, the overhead finally connecting yet again. So much meter on his side, but we're back to the neutral game. Umi Show trying to establish with the PRC. Not going to let her do it for free. Burst out. Okay, here we go. This is Umi Show's last opportunity. Going to go for concentration. Here we go. Trying to do the roll behind. Gets the hit, though. Here we go. Umi Show. Rolled behind and then came back to the same side, bro. Tempest wasn't ready for that one. 
100 go. meter though, you gotta be careful of super. Goes low. Oh my goodness, it's so close here. All right, mix, guess for game, tap dust! And there it is, Tempest seals it off the tap dust RC in an intense opening set between these two. Three to two to the last round we go. Tempest though proves superior yet again. How it is, I don't know what it is about this game, but I feel like so many people have that same experience, that same feeling with their character. And it looks like I might get lucky because Gobo, he has to deal with another soul, and this time it looks like he's starting with the Zato. Yeah, yeah, and it's gonna be me and you this time. So yes. you gotta cover, even if he does switch to Gold Lewis, <laughs> I can help you out. Perfect, right? Of course, you uh, definitely terrorized the community with Soul at the beginning, right? You had videos Soul made about guy. you. Shout out to Majin Obama. Yeah, it's just a plus on block mid. <laughs> Never just thought about that. Well, it's just yeah. a plus on block mid. What's the issue here? Mm -hmm. But indeed, indeed. So Gobo is going to be bringing out the Zato. We saw the Go Lewis to start the setup against Skill. Did not pan out how he wanted to. So we're going to see the old school, the blindfolded one, go up against Emoji Legacy Soul. Yeah, Legacy Soul. Uh, really experienced with this character. And you can see it in his movement, I think, in decision making in particular. Wow, far slash, pretty good decision. <laughs> no matter what, around start. Oh my goodness what gracious. Is the yeah, a little bit of a whiffy. Got the uh, goal burst. Didn't work out. And the jump. There's uh, no Biru, depending yeah. on what game you play. Uh, there to keep it in the back. And man, that wild throw right away. I noticed Mochi likes to lead with wild throw in some sets, and then like he never does it again. It's like a very rare option for him. Uh, I like that. Right, the early conditioning make the opponent think about it forever. Wow, I can't believe he converted that even that much. But the close as was a little bit too early. Mochi was still recovering. Now he's taking advantage of it. Burst out. Mm -hmm. And it was going to be 5k success. Bandit bringer at the end of that for the wall splat. Gobo did not want to see it. Look at that jump movement again. The whiff jump age, other side bandit bringer. Really hard to deal with. Empty low. Gobo's defense very solid. And the challenge. That is one thing that is really important in this matchup. Is if you're trying to do like jabs with Zato into you know summoning Eddie or whatever, and Soul is just mashing far slash, he's gonna smoke you a lot of the times. Exactly right. Like especially from that range, Gobo just did not have the safety. Oh, the Hezzy right there to catch a reach and perfect spacing for Mochi. Yeah, and you die on the next oh, hit. Oh, goodbye indeed. That's gonna be a 1-0 beginning. Command throw or not, the scaling won't be enough to save Zato. Yeah, he dies there to like close slash 5H super and he dies to command grab, right? Yep. So it's straight up just a bad spot to be. Strike or throw, guess for game. Gobo guessed incorrectly there. And Mochi, I mean, the tempo, the pace he's setting, it is so tough to fight in this nonsense. Yeah, and if you're Gobo and this is what happens to you, boy, do you hate Soul Bad Guy. Right. Like, it is a bad weekend. Oh you just God. run into Soul Bad Guy and then Bull Sad Guy. You're like, dude, <laughs> back to back, what am I supposed to do, man? You just oh, punch me. And he is sticking with the Zato. I thought maybe up against this tempo that Mochi was bringing, the Gold Lewis could have been a little bit more prevalent, but. Regardless, he's sticking with the character. Yeah, feeling oh. a little bit confident. I mean, that is a bad hit. To get. Oh, it hit Eddie and it hit his buddy. <laughs> that feels bad. Bro, you can see Mochi. Now, this is one of the characters. He does have that legacy experience again, right? He's so good at killing Eddie time and time again, not letting Gobo do anything. That was nuts, bro. The Did you see H, Jump H? He killed the frog and then canceled it into the bandit. No, Beer would never. Oh, that was so good from Gobo, though. He was just ready for it. He was like, all right, I'm going to go up to the sky. Yeah, plus on block here. Amorphous. Indeed. Oh, but he still let Mochi do what he wanted afterwards. Maybe he was expecting the bust out. Oh, jump H trade there. Oh my god, Mochi, another wild throw. He's done so many. Mix up here, high low, goes for the oh. empty fake out, and he's gonna get nice little wall break and the kill with oh. Fafner. He's got no guts. Zero guts Zato, baby. You ain't living through Nathan right there. The Fafnir to close the chapter. No guts. Feels bad. Mm -hmm. Ooh, does press the 5P and immediately ready now. Gobo, he might have to try to start matching Mochi's pace. Be ready with whatever subsequent button you need after these sequences. But right now, Mochi is just cooking. Yeah, trying to bait some kind of throw or some kind of wiggle. Oh. Nice cash block, 5K. Reframe button, and uh, yeah, Gobo had to get out of there. He's in a bad spot. Drill PRC gives it the bar and doesn't really gain anything from it. Yeah, man, you can tell Gobo looking very uncomfortable. The very end of the active frames on the jump age connecting, but the blocks from Mochi, get out of here with this. Finally, the tap does come through, but no more Eddie. That's why he's gonna load up with the sword super. Yeah, sword, get the pressure on this, dash up, lets the pierce go. Drill here for the pressure too, and jump K, nothing after. Yeah, he's chilling out. Oh, he tried to reach into the sky. Jump H didn't that much, but either way, Gobo finding the hit time and time again right now. Mochi just alive on this pixel. Second hit, Frog didn't oh. kill. If he had, oh no, that's a huge oh. jump. Oh. Not enough bar. 
No meter, but he caught a flincher right there. He tried to hezzy to get him to flinch again. Oh, back throw incident. He did jump P, and I think he waited to see if there was going to be YRC or something. Mm. Gobo with the immediate back throw. Very smart. Oh, and just ended up getting clipped by the drill party right there. Maybe thought he could move it to the 2D. Definitely a funky normal to block. Yeah, look at these jump age air movement from Mochi. Just so, like, hard to deal with because you don't know when he's just going to run up or do a regular jump, right? And then that little dash block on that so gets an extra little bit of space to chase down. Oh, that was so close to being a sick conversion. Big trade here as well, but nonetheless, Mochi gonna stay in the corner. Go ball, yeah, OTG with a snake, just wakes up with the Volcanic Viper, we out. Mm -hmm, and the car fastener to chase for Oki. Oh, but just a little too far, and Drill and Neutral very good against Soul. Oh, the second hit appears, ended up crossing up after the jump D, that was nasty. Gobo finally starting to find his own groove a little bit. Stopping this pace that Mochi has continued to play at, even the opposed putting him on stop. Oh, yeah, and beautiful punish. I love that just in case he hit a button and first got built, right? Mochi was pretty close, so just went for a very safe punish, and I love him putting the brakes on the pressure and just saying, okay, let me wait and see what you're going to do. Mochi gave it up, went for the DP, and now, you know, it started looking like a set that was going to slide out of control for Gobo, and we're one apiece now. Yeah, he's been doing a good job setting up the oppose to stop the tempo and just the over-aggression for Mochi. I do like Mochi's 6 aging when he sees the oppose because it leaves Soul at a distance to where it's hard to get a good punish as Zato. Yeah, and especially if Eddie dies. Yeah, like, like if I mean, he like re or claps, like resummons, you'll stuff him during that. I really do like the button. Yeah, it's a good choice, I think. Oh, oh speaking of good buttons, that 5H. Shout out to Jonathan Tenne right there. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good button. Pretty solid. Jump H, love the, the nothing after from Mochi. Didn't go for Bandabringer because he saw a pose. They knocks him down. They have any enemy meter available, so he's just gonna Morphish try to kill this space while Eddie recharges. Yeah, and it doesn't take too long either, which is pretty nice, right? Oh, double dust and terrible burst. Yeah, Mochi. I mean, it just felt like he got frustrated getting hit by the second dust right there. Didn't like that, but wasting the burst, I don't like that even more. Yeah, that hurts. Although, the nice thing is you build a lot of bursts generally fighting Zato if you get hit by stuff like drills and Great other point. things. Oh, that is huge, though. Look at the damage. And on the other end, Zato not doing a good job building burst back, right? Yeah. So, Soul has those combos. There are just a few hits that will take your life immediately away. Oh, this is big. Has meter for RC, so pretty scary that wild throw is here or banner revolver pressure. Oh, we're out for now. Just smack him in the mouth as he lands. Still all mochi here. I like the backdash. He's been representing that 5P after blocking the bandit. Quick little wild throw. My man drifted into it. Yeah, slid in there with the 2K, the leggy, and then found that command grab right after. Who spaced out Bandit Bringer. A pretty scary spot to challenge if you're Zato, and so Gobo just backs all the way out. Yeah, I, I like that recognition from Gobo right there. He definitely shined his shoes with that one. It was not going to be a good spot to press 5 oh. Same thing you talked about earlier. 6H, totally fine after, even though you know he swung with something big and opposes there. Oh, 2H just missed. Wow, that sucks. Indeed. Oh, I like that. Showed him the jump H after the 6H. You are airborne from that. Gets low anyway. Oh, BRC, yeah, that's going to be. He's like plus 500 there, even off the run. And now we burst up, give me that space back again. Gobo trying to this, get this out of hand, and Frog coming through huge right now in the clutch. Sword Super knows that Amorphous will not kill. Yeah, and it gives you the Eddie Gauge back. That's why you do the Sword Super, as you mentioned. Amorphous is great if it's going to kill, or if you have the Eddie Gauge already. Indeed. Oh, and just look like the delay timing on the 2D really threw Mochi off a bit. Maybe expecting some type of uh, immediate jump D to catch his dome piece, but either way, that 2D catches him low, and the Snakes finish the job. Yeah, and I mean, this is Mochi now, one game away from being sent out of the tournament, which I think a lot of people are like, he's going to do it. Yeah. He's so bad guy, bro. He's going to do it. He's one of the favorites maybe in the tournament. And look at him potentially going out in seventh place. Would definitely be wild to see either one of these players going over to in this bracket, I think, is a surprise to so many people. Yeah. I mean, when you have a tournament of champions, you know, yeah. even then somebody's going to still lose. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised he didn't unsummon Eddie there. Yeah, well, those instances, uh, I'm not sure if he was trying to set up like an oppose on the wake up, but it looked like it was too early for that. Thank you. Uh, Jump H recovers in zero frames from Soul, so <laughs> has no recovery. So even though he missed it completely twice, Gobo was unable to get the punish. And now oh, we're busting out Volcanic Vipers, Bandits, trying to steal rounds, put the mass on. Oh, oh what a block from Mochi right there. I have oh. not seen that one before, but the break the law, break your burst, break your spirit. 
Gobo on set point. That feels so bad. I've never even seen that mix up in my life. And then right afterwards, immediately goes for the burst, gets it baited. That feels so terrible if you're Mochi here. Yeah, after an impressive block, because as you said, never seen that one before. Nope, I've, I've <laughs> never seen a Thoughtful player do that, and I probably will never see it again. Yeah. Oh, oh the dust hit him in the face. And look at Mochi doing the big lead. Yeah. For someone who's down like that, a pretty relaxed looking posture, actually, I feel like, in this game. A hundred percent, man. He is nice and comfortable. Gobo kind of doing the gamer lean himself right now. Definitely focused, leaning towards the screen, and he's doing the damn thing now. The wall splat. Doesn't have any super to break the wall with, but still. Yeah, ooh, this is huge damage. He gets the car confirmed. That works on Crouch, so if you get hit crouching by a button in the banner revolver, you're gonna take big damage. Yeah, Moshi was looking to lead his health bar, so Gobo is saving some of it with the burst. <gasps> Banned it again! Oh, he baited the throw! This damage is humongous. Also, he should be dead here. Oh my god, you got caught reaching, and Moji been doing some teaching for a long time, fam. Yeah, I mean, everything looks so fine. Yeah. And then it was not. It was just <laughs> immediately not okay. He looked very much in control, like the tempo was his. He was kind of maintaining the neutral that he wanted to play, but I mean, Mochi gets in one time and your health bar's gone. Yeah, I mean, getting hit by a counter hit close slash, if you got no guts and a lot of life, oh, that is brutal. Just watch it disappear. Ooh, I like it. We rarely get to see, like, the players letting the intros rock in game five. Game five, intros out. Damn, he's, he is just so savage. He does not <laughs> care. He's like, bro, I'm about to kill you. My bad. Okay, he's also a little bit more formal, a little bit more polite about this. But Man, if my neck sounded like that in like three years, my neck's gonna sound just like that when I wake up, I'm sure. <laughs> Gotta leave I the man on the firm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my neck sounds like that now. <laughs> okay. Uh, we. Oh, that was a really good escape with the punish. Oh. I cannot believe he was ready. Bro, he canceled in the drill party after seeing Mochi avoid the oppose. That was so good. Yeah, I went the complete opposite way on the screen to punish, too. Hard knockdown here gets the summon. Doesn't get the pierce to hit both hits, but still okay either way. Yeah, man, Pose locking him down in the corner for now. He hit 2K 2D seven times. Oh, my. What a cancel on the Clash, the Amorphous. So smart from Gobo right there. The recognition, we talk about quick recognition. That was out of this world. Yeah, and I mean, Amorphous does so much damage, too. So even if it trades, wow, what a round start. Just runs all the way up, stays in the front with the jump uh, H. And that little FD gave Gobo the space to just find the escape. Nice dash block throw on the Oppose. And great block on that. Oh, my God, you were going to explode. Tries to keep it burst safe with that routing. He was really looking for Gobo committing, and because of that, he lost a lot of damage, but he was playing it safe. Good composure from Gobo not to give it up as well, but the jump out, Eddie had run out as well. Drops the combo, gonna give him another chance at life. Banner Revolver just didn't reach. The first hit was too far, and because of that, Mochi lost a ton of damage, and I mean, maybe potentially the round because of it. Oh, so scary. He is gonna complete it either way. 6H OTG to put himself on set point. And that was so scary. Banner Revolver just failed him right there. Uh, I, I mean, just the first hit, not quite there. And now we got last game and the Woo! dash block from both. Gobo gets the throw. Yeah, just recognizing, seeing the dash in time. Go oh. for the throw, jump H, hitting him with the glutes. And I cannot believe he hit 5H after first. Yeah, you gotta do it there before the wall break. Otherwise, I mean, he's gonna have positive bonus. Yeah, the momentum is gonna get out of control. Gobo wasn't gonna be able to kind of stabilize this how he wants. Oh, when Oppose was out. Oh, that was so scary. He got the unsummon and then Oppose came right back out. And there's meter here for Zato, which is really scary for Mochi. And you can see he's staying in the air. He's not trying to get locked down by these Zato block strings. And he's doing such a good job of it. Gets the air, the second overhead. Gobo is out of the tournament. Mochi moving on and loser side. Unbelievable. Just the green lighting on the Zondo Ram with all yeah. as well. Well uh -huh. done production. I like it a lot. And shout out to Zando with that nice epic yell during the yeah, I, know, right? I was actually thinking, I was like, was that Zando? It sounds like, like that right? sounds like Zando. <laughs> His dub, Dice Kid did that. Right. <laughs> Yo, that would be OD. It would only make sense. <laughs> Just yelling back there, it makes perfect sense. We got our match here. Again, this is an interesting matchup. You know, we talked about Leo and, you know, kind of the success he has had as a character against Happy Cats. Ram, pretty similar. She has a lot of things that you can contest with in mid range against Happy Cats more than a lot of other characters. Stuff like her 5H, yep. particularly useful for dealing with this character when they're going for steady aim shot and other things like that. Exactly right. Usually, Happy Chaos is comfortable at this range that, I mean, Ram Lethal is also comfortable at. So. Yeah. Yeah, she's got the buttons to deal with it, though, too. Like, that's that's what Sage was pointing out. And I really do believe, like, it's going to be a lot harder swinging in this range as, like, 
Happy yeah. Chaos than it would be versus somebody else. Though. Oh, yeah. Now, Happy Chaos, I mean, even with 100 meter, right? No invisible reverse on the super. So you're going to have YRC, you're going to have RCs, but Zon, though, putting a stop to all of it. Yeah, two BRCs in a row got stuffed. There's the third. Oh, the roll burst. Just John to say, Wick. I'm not dealing with any of it. He'll get three bullets back, which is big. This is a knockdown. And look, the nice thing about Happy Chaos is the resources just come all the way back, right? I mean, you get any kind of hit, immediately cancel, break the wall, positive bonus. You have full resources to do whatever mix up you want, although Ram. She's got just the same. Oh, oh I like wow. that burst. Punish burst. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so good. Umi show taking this first round here versus Xando. Yeah, smart choice. I think, you know, to burst the YRC because YRC immediately gives you that plus frame scenario. Ooh, wreck a two. This hurts so much. Oh, 6H, the dartboard, sword to the corner, I like to call it. Big damage and on the board for Xando. A little Jeez. dash into Super 2 just to build the bar. It was very close to not having it and then. Had it at the last second there. Love the air approach. Trying to get out of there. Oh, oh. And the fast RC. Super for the kill. Rough round. Oh my jeez. The preparation, yo, Zando. Oh, nice. That was really good. That's one thing is Happy Cow's far slash, 10 frame button. Really good. The damage off is good. It's so bad on whiff, right? So if you make it whiff at round start, you saw it dashing 2k for the whip punish. But you see a lot of people look for it, right? You want to be able to play this. Oh, just whip punish game in the neutral. So it's really scary dealing with that from like happy chaos because you never know. Oh, air beautiful throw. air throw. Keep the corner here. Car into the gun flip for the plus frames. Ooh, and first is really hard to find here. Yeah. Did you see the reload? Yeah. The disrespectful reload on the burst punish. Oh, look at this pressure. Oh, no. Dust in the shot. You're going through the glass. Umi show. Quick two rounds in this first game versus Zando. Yeah, I mean, she is really well practiced in this matchup. There's a lot of RAM players in the US that to play against, you know, and there are actually really strong Happy Chaos players to play in EMEA as well, yeah. right? I mean, Tiger Pop is one of the biggest ones to, to mention, right? Notably did very well in uh, quite a few of the online qualifiers, or offline qualifiers, rather, rather for this event this year, so. Here comes this pressure again. Starting wow. with the 2K this time, not gonna work out. Gets the throw, well, a throw of their own, hold on. Oh, and that's a big bait, and blocks the burst. Wall breaks though. If there was a little bit less wall health, that would have been a kill, right? But the wall got beat up quite a bit before that. Look at this, and this is exactly what I was talking about. This neutral game tries to meet in the air. Xando with the jump, jab, and once again, the dust. It's the combo on top of it. Xando looking good in the second game. And you see that acceleration. Ram is so fast, right? It's one of those things. This character has really good mid-range button, but her move speed, stuff like that, dashing 2K, dashing 2K, DD, really makes her such a dangerous character to deal with on the ground. Dash up. Got to be careful. Not going to be able to retaliate with that fault using faultless right there. Six H finds his mark. Nothing big came from it. Uh-oh. We're going to the corner this time, though. Oh, yeah. And there's meter for the wall break. Mm -hmm. Doesn't go for Calvados, even though it's more damage, because it gives more burst there. Oh. BRC back. There's that 2K once again, 5K to get the combo. Umi show wide awake. Mm, Zondo well, with the game Zondo, there. Excuse me. Yeah, and I, I have to say, one thing that's impressive, good, good decision making on Zondo's defense, you can just see him holding FD. And the reason is it makes the roll from Happy Cast not cross up. Mm -hmm. So you see Umi show tried to adjust by doing like, okay, 2K, stagger, 2K, okay, stagger, and then Zondo just backed up. Yeah. So he created an opening by just, you know, mitigating what roll was gonna do and adjusting to what Umi show did to counter it. Speaking of, this faultless in the corner, you're gonna have to hold all of this. Yep. Hold the focus. Oh! Concentration, excuse me. More pressure. Yeah, you faultless in the corner like this while you down back is gonna be a lot harder to get out of this happy chaos pressure. Ooh, and up back counter, and this is gonna be another wall slump. Not quite enough meter to kill there with the super, so just more stagger pressure. Only show aware. Tries to go for the fuzzy dust once again, just a back and forth, finds one, gets the shot right after it, and gonna go through the glass this time. Now that is a round for Happy Cam. I love the wall slump into the fully charged dust, like why I ought to, just like <laughs> this stupid, silly wall slump. It's just so funny to look at. Oh, I be in the neutral, that is so good. That way you don't have to worry about getting pushed back a little bit, mm -hmm. but does, does not stop the record. Goals for super, big damage on the board for Xando. And meter here for Umi Show, but a hard place to find something to spend. Yeah, just went for the throw PRC with the 6P and 
That's a punish. Plus the positive bonus for the Seeper. Oh no, missed the Super at the end there, but not gonna matter. And it's all about just, I feel like shimmying with these 5Ks in a lot of instances, just at the tail range. And then you saw the PRC just to make sure they're out of range and still dash in to get the punish. Zando's looking good. Yeah, I mean, the last time, oh, that is a scary back throw. The last time SQ and Umisha played just very recently, SQ had a lot of success by doing throw baits with uh, Ram. And I think, you know, Zando very smartly doing some very similar stuff here to try to throw off Umisha's defense. Yeah, you see Rams do that at times, right? They dash in, dash out, have like light buttons. Sometimes it's uh, close S, 2S sometimes, but now just using the 5K a little bit oh. further out, big counter hit, but still able to get the job done. Oh, that's dead. Completely burst safe right there. And not only that, but I don't even think it was on purpose, that YRC from Umi Show. I, I imagine it was something else and then just blocked and then was like, well, I guess I got YRC and I'm dead. Also, this is dangerous. This is loser side of the bracket. So somebody is definitely finna be joining you guys out in the audience. Oh yeah, which is pretty wild to think about. Again, same thing with the last set. Two players that you expect to make it really far in this tournament. I love that combo. The little like tap into the wall, concentrate plus gunshot. Ooh. That counter hit S didn't make anything come from it though. Here's another conversion from Umi Show. She's really done a great job of taking his momentum back, stealing it from Zando. Yeah. Oh, the 6P on wake up there. Gets a couple of bullets back, and that should be the kill. Gets that last little gunshot there. Round on the board for Umi Show. I feel like the slower these games go, the better it is for Umi Show. Yeah, and the big difference is this game, Umi Show has hit way more 2S. Mm -hmm. Like, 2S is just is putting in work in this the particular game because you, you kind of need to represent that to stop Ram from just pulling up on you with 2K over and over and over. And just steal at that. that tail end of the range of the 5k oh. well you can guess with the throw nice prc gets the knockdown closest yeah and force it there a little dash block gets clipped and that's going to be big damage here goes for mortobato breaks the wall positive bonus very scary to deal with your back dash overhead mm, combo from umi show but gets the knockdown nothing big umi show needs this next series to work out meter on the side prc before they hit the ground and still with the punish with happy chaos umi show trying not to let zando get this round back and you gotta be scared of brc here if you're zando oh rotharo and the 2s, 2S. again that move has been putting in so much work okay now no meter for umi show and the wall slump this should be the kill here for the game last game between these two just like that Okay, okay, Umi Show bringing it back. Yeah, two apiece so quick. I mean, that was just way, way better neutral control from Umi Show with the grounded buttons for sure. And I see Zondo right away going for the jump, right? So, okay, if you're gonna be committed to these grounded buttons, I'm gonna go to the air. Yeah, jump H. Goes for the follow-up thing. Gets a small combo. Doesn't stop Umi Show though. Who now has his corner pressure. And just oh. raw jump out from Zando. Staircase all the way down, and that's exactly what I was talking about. Backdash to that 5K range from Ram, and then Zando has really been making stuff happen. Staircase back down to the ground with Jab, RC to keep the combo going. Oh, wow, Zando! Yeah, and doesn't break the wall there. I think probably trying to hold it. Oh, another throw. Close S, hold the sword. What an interruption, Umi Show. There's the roll, no faultless that time. Gets the side switch. Gonna need to concentrate super here. Oh, but the oh, Thoros stuffs oh my it God. out. What a choice from Zondo. Not the first time we've seen it. You pointed it out last time. Doro moving forward, special move. You can RC, actually get a full combo from it as oh well. Oh, my. And this is not good for Umi Show at all. All right to the corner and the wall break. About 55%, almost 60% already gone. Yeah, the full send there. Zondo just round start, dash, 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 trying to make something happen here. Behind the, over the shoulder, behind the back. 360, no scope, Umi Show goes to the super. The face clan combo. <laughs> YY, ladder, stall, fakie. Oh my god, the RNG shot. Oh, but no concentration. This is so bad. <gasps> Bates to throw, trade. Man, that could have been a game winner right there. That was very, very scary. Gotta get away from this wall, Umi Show. Gotta get away. Oh, gets picked up. Still has burst. What a block, you have to burst. Oh. Pulls out the gun, pull out my gun. Oh, and the meter and gets caught on the back dash. Nowhere to go last game, last round between these two. No burst for Umi Show. Got to just fight it out here. Ooh, that is a scary back throw, but it's one that's pretty good there because 2K2D was going to be what you expected. Oh, hold this water balloon. 
Yeah, needs to concentrate again here soon. Gonna run out. Oh, the pickup. This is gonna be the wall break if you want it. Chooses not to. She just wants to hold the corner. Oh, oh. throws the five dust. Uh-oh. YRC trying no to get bullets. out of this corner. Oh, air anti-air jab, full conversion. No Fights bullets back. for Umi Show. This is a scary spot to be. The restagger from Zondo. I love that choice. Oh, hold this sword. <gasps> 5k once again, not dead, but man, is this gonna hurt. It's gonna be close. Calvados through here. The damage at the end is humongous. I don't know. Ridge says dead. Tap. Every time it's done up and just like that. Zondo eliminating Umi Show. He ran into in a 3-0 set against Mochi. And, you know, if you're a soul bad guy player, you probably don't love this match. <laughs> like I said, nobody likes fighting against Nago. Yeah, I don't know anybody who's like, you know what I want to fight today? Some Nago. I've never. It sounds like you guys are blaming the beast. Never. <laughs> that's, a, that's a me problem, huh? Another savage day on planet Earth. All right, here we go. You wake up every day and say that. Yeah, dude. While you're putting on your beads. I'm still waiting. On, I'm still waiting on the Guilty Gear anime, bro. I think about that a lot. All right, here we go. I'm still waiting on my replacement beat, Steve. I got you, bro. I trust me. I promise you they're coming. Speaking of coming, this wall is breaking. Oh, oh I, I mean, again, you know what? Nago used to never take that much damage before, but ever since they changed that blood gauge change mm -hmm. right there. Good. See, not <laughs> Let Perfect. it cook. <laughs> Little fake out jump H. Whiff goes for the low with the 2K. Easy peasy pickup in, you know, round one there for skill. Has the burst. Still chilling. Really good start to this game. Oh, raw 2S. Okay, calls out the burst early on. Far is to stop the approach from Skill. And Skill looks like he knows exactly what to do in this matchup. Oh yeah, I like the 5H too. 5H is, you know, even before the buff, was a pretty good button to hit against Nago with Soul, actually. Try for the combo there. That does work, actually, when you're in high blood, 5K counter hit, cool. 2S. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Ooh, 2H, with oh, that one got him. Caught your peeking with the 2H. Actually, PR sees it. Skill tries to go in. Nubenheimer says, not on my watch. Not this time. Yeah, almost nobody is better than Nubenheimer at whiffing stuff with Nago like that and then just doing the late PRCs and catching you. I think that's why he holds the corner so well. Better than basically any other Nago player I can think of. Wow, that hurts so much. Oh, oh speaking no. of. Oh, that is going to hurt. Oh, you might be dead. <laughs> oh, my God. The way he yells, he goes, Rah! and he just cuts you in half. Bro, once he's done with it, he hits the sword. He's like, oh, let me get the blood off of there. Put this back in the sheath. All right, round two. To interject real quick, to build on your point, say, Jam, uh, playing against him uh, with the far S sequence when he has meter seems like the most annoying thing oh, possible. Yeah. yeah, because sometimes he doesn't cancel, and then you're like, oh, okay, maybe I can, and then he, like, late cancel command grabs. Yeah. Or he, like, goes for 2S, or he goes for Fukio in, or all this kind of stuff. I, I think Nubenheimer's ability to control the corner is some of the best of anybody who plays this character. I think it's his biggest, like, that kind of stuff, too. Far slash, you can do that with, uh, oh, oh, that's with cheap. far slash slash cancel before the second hit. You can also do 5K, 6K, and do the same thing with that. It's okay. a little, little whiff action. Oh, oh I heard, I heard blood? Soul make a noise. Oh, he's oh. making another noise because he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> slash, that was the noise he made, bro. <laughs> I heard, oh, and I'm like, oh no, that'll do it. I didn't even see the button because I was looking at Nago, but I heard the noise. Okay, counter hit. Wasn't able to make anything happen from it, though. Okay, run up throw. That perfect timing. That 5K is so good. I love that from skill, looking in for that 2D, because, uh, you know, Nubenheimer is going to be representing with high-hitting buttons like that, and Tyrant here for the kill. Oh, my man be Tyrant Rave! KO! Yeah, he puts his whole back into it, that's for sure. Putting his, speaking of putting their back into it. Uh. Ooh, this is a, a brutal start here for skill in this game, too. Also, especially because Nubenheimer has bar now. Man, the fake out's coming with the 6K in the corner on Wake Up from Nago. Wow, trying to dash out. What a dash block, because that could have been dead. Oh, he's so close to popping there. I think that 5H could have saved them. Okay. Oh, and he gets bursted wow. into the corner, wow. and again, Bloods oh, up the universe. Man. no. The BSU, you hate to see it. That that burst putting him in the corner was because he did close slash and then committed to the far slash, and the far slash put him through the burst. To the other side, though. I would have been tight. I would have oh, yeah. just unraveled right there. Oh, yeah. Bro. I would have been on the floor, dude. Like GG's. Yeah, the Steve, there's another game. GG's, bro. GG's, bro. I'm <laughs> I said it. I got a bus to catch. We're in the middle of nowhere. I got a bus to catch. Far S. To the corner we go. 
this has always been like the better side of skills game, just keeping your opponent in the corner, especially a character like Naga Ryuki, but now breaks the glass, goes to the other side, bursts for both of these guys in this, in this game, though. Lumen oh, yeah. up two games right now, though. Oh. Ooh, this is so scary. Two command grabs gave him a bit of life back, too, so that might end up mattering in this matchup as well. He backdash, hit him with the six. Oh, my God. And he has so much blood to work with. <gasps> Counter hit. The burst is there. I like that. Just rushes him to the corner just in case it was one. 6-8 RC. 5K again to stop any approach. The far S RC oh. did get the combo, though. And he's gonna pop. Let's go for the throw. What a read. Skill trying to stay alive. Oh, man. Yeah, the scramble. The rare overcommitment, actually, from Neumannheimer there. Oh, that is a huge starter. Yeah, double 5 H. Oh, wow. Beyblade just to stop the approach once again. Baits out the DP. You're doing two, two soul. Take it back again. Oh, and then 6 H after. Thanks to the recovery buff on that far slash, 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 slash. Oh. Why is moving on it so ready for every situation right now? Oh, danger, danger. You see, this is a hard hat area. Oh, RC down, side switch coming from skill. Big damage here. And he let it go. He didn't want to break the wall there. 6P and the challenge to K2D. Oh, and oh my god, the challenge. Win your zero. You hit tap dust, you're like, uh, and then it's time to hit a button. Skill, a scrambly but important game because we've seen before. Neubenheimer can get to this position in tournament and things can start to slip mm -hmm. a bit, kind of like what happened with him versus Latif. Wow. Fukio back. S Gatling stream. I love the usage of Fukio here. And also the IB on the record string right there gives you a little more time to confirm whether they're gonna finish the string. So you can find that gap. Okay, there's a the throw. Yeah, big back throw. Finishes it and then late cancel 2K 2D. Oh, oh, wow, the far S once again. 2S for the OP, 6H for the glass, the break, and the round. Neubenheimer once again, set point. Yeah, finding himself in a really nice position. And honestly, he's just so smothering. There's like very few places where you're like, okay, I can just get out by doing this. Like, he's not very lazy about anything. He just puts you in bad spots over and over, although that burst, pretty rough. Knockdown. There's a throw. This is the momentum skill needs. Oh, nice staircase because of the RC. Gonna get the wall break, not the kill, but this next situation is important. 50% meter for Nago, though. Uh-oh. Oh. That's so bad. Oh, burst is there, but you ain't gonna do it yet, though. No, he waited. Yeah, just in case. Neubenheimer, very smart to bait it. That's a whiff, and that's a beautiful punish there from skill. Put the tombstone on top of the dirt. He's like, you know what, you're dead. I'm Digging him. That's a whiff, that's a punish. <laughs> uh. Uh, Does that wave jump ass? Meaty Fafner. Gets the hit. 6 8 glass break again. <laughs> double time. That was so good. Yeah. Oh my god. I cannot believe he was ready for that pickup off the gun flame. Wow, you are so high up there. And I'm still getting this combo. Oh, wow. Drops the Gatling, but smart enough. Recognizes that it's not all going to hit and stop the Gatling at the second string. RC skill back in the game. We're going to the last set. Wow. The last match, excuse me. Just like that, too, which is wild to think about, right? Because obviously it was 2-0 Neubenheimer. We're like, man, is he about the 3-0 two soul players in a row? And still trying to march his way to winner's finals here. Mm. Okay, early burst there. An instant IB right there. Actually pushes back really far. Ooh, that was a great pickup. Yo. And just wake up 2S, 5H. Look at Nubenheimer come back this round. And we've seen this all day where he's literally been like, oh, you got me that last round? Time to take every, suck all the air out of the room, steal the round back. Once again, set point. Yeah, and he does it so effortlessly, right? Like, it just it doesn't look like he's risking anything. He looks extremely confident. 6P. Look, look at the IBs on top. That is so sick. Mm -hmm. Gets an easy peasy pickup, goes for the command grab, and then there's the immediate burst and respects DP again. Oh, that's a punish. Oh, you're in trouble. Skill in trouble. Oh, jumps out. Cross up 5K. Wait a minute. Skill's got a chance. He does. One overhead, nothing after. Holding that FD, trying to get away. Hold, he creates the distance, but. Hold. Oh, you're in trouble. That was so much damage because of the risk, too. Last guess here. Neubenheimer trying to FD get out. He respects the DP after. Skill takes his turn. And we go to a final round here. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
starts off with the 2K. Another early burst coming from Skill. Gatlin didn't all the way connect, but look at the blood gauge for Nago right now. Oh, I love that late double jump from Skill and gets the crouch confirmed. 2K, 6 S, and the whip punish too. Oh, backdash works out. Counter hit here for Skill. Tyrant Rave. <laughs> Barely and not enough to kill here. Nubenheimer in a really bad spot, and he commits it. Skill with the dash. Block and the punish perfectly baited. No chance to burst as he moves on to winner's finals here. Slaying extremely well, and I'm very curious about this matchup yeah. in particular. It's gonna be a really, really interesting one to watch. It's really scary. As a as a Leo player, I'm scared of this because if I get knocked down, I'm like, all right, I gotta Oh, wait a minute, going to the chip, not the Geo. I I actually really like this. I yeah. mean, if, if I'm fighting against Leo, I would definitely go to the chip. I think this is a really smart choice because TY, one thing that I have to credit him for, his dash blocking with both of his characters is excellent, and his dash dash block initiation is incredibly good. Did you see that 2K? Yeah, that was I was about to say under the six H of chip, bro. The little crazy. Boot. He stuck out the whole boot on him. The clog, bro. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's gonna hurt. If you got pointed shoes, like, I'm gonna make fun of you, but you're probably gonna have good hitboxes. <laughs> right? I feel like they don't even curve up until, like, he does 2K. Like, yeah. oh, we're on, guys. Oh, you're dead? No. Okay, okay, okay. That's going on the show. <laughs> <laughs> you just did it to yourself, Steve. Sorry. Damn. Love that little late pickup. And you see the late cancel to get the charge for the flash kick. That was a wake up DP. He got close slash instead. I'm going to tell you right now, one of the things consistently done here by Tempest is like able to cancel into like flash kick after 5K, 6K. He's always ready for it. Big counter hit, pick up with the 2K. All right, cancel straight into the overdrive. Going to go through the glass this time. Mm -hmm. Get that wall break. Says. Let's see. Oh, air dash instead baits oh. out the flash kick, and Tempest doesn't see the dust coming. Right combo can get the kill. Ty with the chip. He held the dust button too. Wow, that is despicable. <laughs> A little ninja otter came out. When are we gonna get the ninja otter plush now? That I need. The, now that I got the table for this. True. Oh, Oh my god, back turn S, help! And then there's the 2D right under from Ty. He's gonna get great corner carry off this as well. All the way to the wall. Wall mix. No. Gamma, 6H, a couple of them. Overhead, no cancel. He had the meter, just didn't go for it, and Tempest respected it. He stops the pressure. Backdash this time. The airplay propeller, bro. The old 1942 propeller not gonna work out with that five. Does, oh wow, guard point. Goes for the follow-up, calls out the burst. Gotta wait for the burst here. Yeah, Tempest finds it on the 6H. And this is really scary. Chip has so much meter. Yeah, look, respecting the record cancel because of it. See how much damage he can give. No, a little drop on the 2S, but the 2D will do it. And yeah, I mean, it's like a really weird spot too, because when Chip has bar, you have to respect Rekka, yeah, right? Because he can do like Rekka, you can do the uh, the overhead at any point, you have to respect that RC, all that kind of stuff, right? So when he just does Rekka 1, dash up throw, you know, you're sitting there respecting the Rekka follow-up. It's a really smart choice from TY. And you were talking about how TY didn't take advantage, because he, he didn't put, well, um, how Tempest didn't take advantage. It's because TY had that meter, and he could have yeah. RC'd and just been like, you know what, now you just got hit. So holding the ground, not a bad idea, but even better for TY to recognize it. Oh, cancel Rekka right in the super once again, and this pressure is so much right now. Yeah, no safe jump there. Calls it out, gets the flash kick. Misses the combo, though. Back turn P, that is the best 6P in the game. 5P gets the full combo conversion here in the corner. Backdash just a little bit. Oh, wow. Yeah, man, that, that's not going to help out the counter. Wait, a little too active. The RC is going to make Chip recover in time. TY. Another round on the board. Yeah, and Tempest held the burst, too. Just doesn't want to commit to it. No reason really in that position, right? You're down a bunch. Raw Berserker. When the 2D dude, look at the, the uh, mid range from TY. He just lets Tempest whip and then takes advantage. And then right there, initiates first. And man, I have to say, the way TY is playing neutral is just impossible to deal with. Look, I mean, Tempest is really struggling to get anything going. It's really hard to even, like, guess on wake up, right? Like, the flash kicks are getting thrown, and he's dashing in and out so much that it's putting him at tilt, and the wall is right here. That is definitely going to be the round. Another one for TY, bro. Mm-hmm, 2-0 just like that, and Tempest cannot get anything going. Uh, particularly, notice the, like, the 5-H far space out. Overhead from Chip is so late. It's hitting so late in the active frames. He's just not canceling an RC. He's like, ah, I don't even need to, and it's causing Tempest a lot of problems here. Just can't get anything going. Fares gets the counter hit, gives you full record string, and once again, beating out that 6-H, 2-K, almost gets out of the corner. Man! T.Y. once again with this cancel in the super and the wall break to keep the pressure in his favor. Hits it this time, though, stays on the same side with the jump S. 
That's going to be another super. Chose not to. And that's going to be the kill instead because of it. TY just like that, looking to 3 0 Tempest and go to winner's finals. Man, I'm going to tell like I said before, I play both of these characters and it's just scary. Once, like, Chip is on you, it's really difficult to be like, how do I get my game back? Especially considering after a knockdown like this gets the Rekka. And here's this pressure once again. One bad call. We've seen the flash kicks not work out. Tried the back dash. Gets clipped by the 2P and full conversion into the wall break once again from Chip. Yeah, I mean, Tempest just can't do anything. TY just sits there and waits and says, like, what are you going to do? Cross up that time with the jump vest. It stayed in front the last two times. And look, just like walks back right here, waits, and then just lets Tempest whiff again. RC has super to keep this burst safe. Yeah, really trying to make this hard to burst. Oh, that combo was so clean as TY cleans it up. 3-0. Game here. And now we got one of our hometown boys, Newmanheimer, out here from Southern California going up against one of those representatives from the EMEA, Zondo, who has had, I mean, just a run after run, has taken down so many tough competitors, has plenty of the Goryuki experience. We'll see if it pays off here. All right. Nubenheimer just going down barely to skill a little bit earlier to one of the EU players and now EU trying to do a back-to-back -back here against Nubenheimer. Can Nubenheimer prevail through this or will Zando uh, add another US player to his list? I'm gonna tell you right now, it's kind of crazy that Nubenheimer is, I ain't gonna say it's crazy, but just how consistent he is and just some of the counterplay he's doing with Nago. I feel like it's a lot more compact than a lot of Nagos that we've seen before. Just the pressure, the awareness, even the tools he's using more readily really do seem like he's really using and playing these matchups to a T. But here we go. I'm just so impressed with how ready his plan B is after plan A goes awry. It is wild. Yeah. But again, Nago, you know, has the range to match against uh Ramathal, also that 6P yeah. works so well against Ramathal, but look at this, Zando just going straight for the uh, Mortabato right there to send through the wall. The sweep too far away for Nubenheimer to connect. Oh, wow, Gatling trade right there. Gets the full S conversion. Oh, Not this oh. time, 2S in the H because of the blood gauge. Yeah, and trying to stay a little bit farther away so that he can't burst. Yeah, there's the burst safe. Combo right there, gonna be able to get through the wall. Nubenheimer stealing round number one from Zondo. Looking so prepared. 5K. Oh boy, Zando that is a big jump. counter hit. And most of that was burst safe right there. However, Nubenheimer did drop the combo. Now you gotta deal with the sword pressure, the corner pressure from mm. Ramathal. Oh, and there we go. And gonna RC to extend this to do a little bit more damage right there. The explosion. Big damage. Oh gosh, yeah. And again, that's from that blood gauge change right there from Nagoriyuki. Welcome to the world of taking big damage, Nagoriyuki. Mm. <laughs> S. Fukio's out of there. So got half a blood gauge right now based off of that and then another special right there. So he's at one and a half and now two and a half. So this is basically no more special moves for just a little bit now. Oh, that missed. And 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 and, and Nubenheimer didn't do anything about it either. Oh, oh no. Wow. A miscalculation. And look at that. Oh, you dead. You're dead. dead. You're You're deader dead. than dead. You on the other side of the stage dead. Oh. <laughs> A uh, very uh, bad miscalculation from Nubenheimer right there on his blood gauge. Rare, and again, too. Yeah, exactly. We, we were saying earlier that he's so precise with that, and uh, yeah, not gonna not gonna happen this time. I think that's the first time we've seen him pop all all day, right? <laughs> like yeah. that's the first time the bad uh, blood gauge management actually affected him because it's been great so far. Yep. So Zando up one zero over Nubenheimer. Oof. Oof. Oh, wow. Oh, the faultless IB on top of it pushes back a little bit further. Does not keep Nubenheimer out of there, though. Tries to go for another throw. Yeah, plus frames on that clone over there and keeping the pressure going. Wow! Just keeps going after him. And there we go, Nubenheimer with a solid round there by keeping Zondo in the corner. Zondo could not get out, but that's kind of uh, the, the name of the game for both of these characters. Oh, yo, Nine no meter, left and you're already nothing. Down, like 16%. Once again, there's that play cancel. Sage Ammon mentioned how good he is at those oh late PRCs. Oh my gosh. Small Fukio back, baits the first, Nubenheimer 
gets one on the board this time around. We talked about like how Nubenheimer has been playing, but his round rebuttal has been ridiculous the <laughs> entire day. He's like, yeah, I just double perfected him that last game. He just comes back. No, you didn't. And you're like, you're right. Pazando has been so solid. What the heck did he air throw? I'm Extra low. <laughs> Extra low. <laughs> oh, there's what that the? 6P I talked about. You definitely well talked it works about it. <laughs> very, very well against Ramlethal. Oh, what an air tech. And now Zando has the corner position here. Deal with these swords. Nice high jump over the sword explosion, but a whip punish right there from Zando. And he does. Oh, no, he didn't quite get the meter. He was just missing the meter that he needed for the super to oh, get the hard for knockdown. SRC, long as there's no burst, 2H to close out Numenheimer. And you saw how aware he was. Like, let me take a step forward. I know you got the burst. You're going to do it? No, I'll get the hit now. Yeah, th there was just no way to burst. Like, that was going to be burst. You only burst if that was the last round in that situation right there. But here we go. There's that Hotashi right there. We talked about that close slash whiff in front of your face. But nice counter hit from Zondo. Mm -hmm. Wreck at the time. Oh, just Beyblades out of the corner pressure situation. However, that does mean that Zondo is going to be able to pick up this other sword, but throws it out there. So that sword is gone for a while. It's going to be a while before he can get that back. And you can see right now, Nubenheimer is actually just trying to hold the screen. Yep. Didn't want to let him get that sword back any earlier. The problem right now is that Nubenheimer is missing one blood gauge. That 5H is not reaching as far. But again, okay, there he goes. There he goes. He should have that level two now. But Zondo. I, I like what Zondo did there. Just jumped back S, didn't engage. And he saw Nubenheimer actually didn't give Chase just raw 5H for the whiff punish. Chase it with the 2H after the jump. It's not going to work oh. out. 2S5H. You got to check the blood gauge, bro. That's yeah. a real combo now. Again, that's why it's so important when he didn't have those two blood gauges. He was having a little bit of uh, trouble trying to keep up with that neutral. But he saved it, the blood gauge for the Beyblade to get out of the corner. So it actually worked out really well for Nubenheimer. Yeah, he's trying to whip punish with this far S. We've seen it before, right? Uh, 2S, they did make it a little bit more, uh, you know, less uh, spammable. Whoa. But that's still not going to stop Nago players from using really that button right. all day. <laughs> Ooh, the jump age from Ramthals reaches so far down. Oh, a small little standoff between the two. And then the delay for S for the full Gatling. And now here comes Nubenheimer, and the wall is right there. Oh, you're dead. Now, he still has a meter. If this, is he going to RC? Actually, actually. No, no, no. Lots of scaling. Oh, oh a sliver. Oh, a my God. Sliver. The chip, the chip now is sca Oh, what? Wait, what? How? I thought she was still in blocks. <laughs> Yo, did he make the clone miss or something? Dang, that's ridiculous. I'm telling you, man, the round rebuttals have been crazy from Dubenheimer. Dubenheimer is at match point again. now. Again, this is loose. I can't believe this is loser side back. Oh, oh. baby. Oh, that's going to hurt. See you on the oh, other side. No. no. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Oh, Actually, dead. now you dead. are dead. So guaranteed that. The, the distant hit on that super guaranteed the kill for Nubenheimer. And there it is. Nubenheimer is going to take it over Zondo. 3-1, three, three, right? Here with us for the rest of the tournament. And this set is going to tell us who that is. Now, we already know Tempest has more than enough XP. And just to Harper back to what you said earlier, the fact that he has so much XP on the side of Mochi with his soul and just how long <laughs> he's been in the game, I feel like that definitely is something that you have to take into account regardless of where you're coming from playing this, uh, this player. Yeah, and you know what? I mean, the, the craziest thing about it is, you know, we were talking about this. We kind of have a lack of souls in U.S. So, like, where's the experience going to come from at this point fighting this character for Tempest? But we'll see how this goes. Uh, Nubenheimer obviously did pretty decently against uh, Mochi earlier. So let's see how Tempest handles this. We'll try to get the throw jump back here. Oh, baits out the DP. This is going to be big damage. Big damage. Yeah. Rah! 
so much health deletion right there. So Tempest with a big life lead. Oh boy. And you saw Mochi just trying to hit a button on wake up at that situation. Got counter hit. Tempest oh, yeah. round number one. Yeah, got the super break on the wall right there. On top of that, that little mix, dash up, dash throw. Could have been Berserker for the other side switch. Uh -oh. Oh, uh oh. Okay, okay. Gets the burst early. Uh, had the burst uh, to keep him safe there. That's why he was probably willing to go for that risk. But here we go. Mochi going to get big damage here in the corner. Wall splat, oh. yep, it's the wall splat, so it's gonna take it. Oh, get in there after counter hit 5P yeah. because of it and gets a full combo conversion oh. and almost had another hit right there oh, against the wall. Gold burst, gold burst, that's huge! Oh, RC, oh, that's yeah. gonna hurt. Oh, See dead. how much that gold burst made a difference right there. As soon as he got that, he just had resources galore to finish that round. I like those two S's right outside of range from Mochi. Ooh, 4 H gets the counter hit. <laughs> Playing volleyball with himself right there. <laughs> Bump set spike all in a ball with one by himself. Oh, oh, counter hit on the S. Damage. Gosh, it hurts so Damage. much right there. And here we go. Yeah, again, the BRC coming in. Actually, Tempest tried to do a little juke right there, mm -hmm. but Mochi did not bite at all. Gonna be able to confirm off of that hit. Off the air, uh, Bob, BRC you, gets you the conversion? Knew, you knew that that burst was coming. Beautifully done by Mochi there to make sure that he saw it and punished. Oh, it's raw two S to start it off this time for Tempest. Oh, wow, six S to answer back from Mochi. He's like, I'm tired of letting you get close enough to where this 2K, this far S to stand H is actually a problem. Oh, and Tempest actually tried to dashboard and throw. I think he had the read on it, but it just, he didn't go far enough to get that throw. I feel like that happens so much in this game, man. I'm like, you just see the whiff punish animation, the whiff throw animation, you're like, oh no. Okay, opportunity now for the mix up. Oh, nice read with that counter over there. Oh, wow, that actually just uh, ended up diving and just missing. But this time, three times. One got countered, second one whiffed, and then he just went for it again. No RC. fear. Can he kill off of this? No, he does not have enough meter. Sure, does he not have enough meter, but he has that <gasps> The overhead. You know, I actually think he would have got the wall split. If he had just did H right there, he would have got the wall split, I think. But I could be wrong. Oh, wow. Caught in with that uh, dash up 2K. So got the first hit, and there we go. Go to the other side. Baits out the burst. This is a big damage now for Tempest, and he's got the corner position oh. again. Counter oh. hit slash. Big damage. Oh, my gosh. This is going to hurt. Oh, close. <laughs> Sometimes Leo does some ridiculous damage mm -hmm. in that situation. Oh, yeah. You're locked into the corner here. Trying to go for the throw. Faked the throw right there, trying to get him teching. Oh, you said it. We see that so often. Jeez. Oh. No, it's, it's it's literally what happens. A lot of times you dash in, you want to keep that pressure, and they're like, back dash. Yeah. And you like throw like, no. I mean, honestly, especially with the dash button, it's so easy to hold down back and just kind of back dash and, you know, hold back and just tap a button and build that distance. Great IBs right there. Ooh. Oh, but there was that uh, mm. accidentally side switched himself, so that burst put him into the corner. But Mochi fighting his way out and catches with the 6P. And I still think that was preemptively to check, check uh, or catch per, uh, probably that stand far H. Ooh. Oh, go straight into super. Yeah, Tempest wants this hard knockdown wall break and the positive meter bonus just goes right into his face. Doesn't go for any sort of safe jump or anything in that 6H. Oh, too far away, the uh, RC, ex you know, aura did not hit to be able to extend that combo. Spends a lot of resources, all of them, in fact, in this corner. Tempest still has the momentum, though. Oh, what? Great throw. She gets the throw, and there's that whip jump and slash that uh, Sejam was talking about. He has the meter for the extension right here. Can this kill? Oh, oh, he just got the wall splat. The last hit? Are you serious? Two S to start it off. That's going to make it a lot harder for Leo. Oh, oh wake up, flash. Yeah, there it is, Burst. He wants to keep that corner position, so he just goes for that Burst right away. He uses this fight to get to the other side. And you saw him cancel the back turn hit just so he can get front turn, get a full combo, and the wall break. Look at the damage. 
Yeah, that's a huge amount of damage. But look at that, the counter hit with the jump slash. For Mochi, gonna give him some, basically catch him up in life. Nice PRC to keep himself safe into the air throw. Oh, Axe oh, gets the jump dust this time. Hurt. That side switch definitely didn't want that. He definitely did yeah. not want that. RC. Okay, how many punches goes for two? Nice block. <gasps> not quite in time for the whip punish. Jeez, oh, they're dancing. They're dancing. He went for the meter, but he thought Tried the burst the was burst. coming. There it he is. Thought the burst was coming. Tempest gets in there with the eins, and now this fight has the mix up. No. Oh Better my goodness. pressure berserker. He didn't see it coming, and you saw the. Once I saw the faultless, I was like, this isn't good. Oh my goodness. Tempest going with a big risk right there. You can just hit a punch and probably have stopped that, but or just go for the throw at least. Look at this damage though. Ten seconds in, you already lost sixty percent, bro. I just got here. Okay. And to bring our RC into the empty low, whiff into the empty low. So here's some good damage here. And Tempest trying to do something on Wake Up, but instead getting hit, wall splat, punch through the wall, and Mochi goes up two to one with a perfect. Mm -hmm. With a perfect at that two one. One of these guys is going home. And now you can see right now, Tempest taking a quick second before he goes back in. Start to go to the guard point. The success that Tempest has had on like just whip punish 5k and still like get like the charge for to do flash kick has been ridiculous this entire day. <laughs> Gets the clash and Tempest was the one hitting kick a little faster right there. All right, runs into the gun flame. You see Tempest trying to maybe play a little bit slower over here, a little bit more with the fireball zoning, and that's what allowed him to get in. How many punches? Just one into the throw, actually. Oh, no. No wall splat right here. Gonna keep this corner position, run up for the throw. That wall is taking some good damage over here. Again, another throw in there, but a back dash from Tempest. And now Tempest has the corner, but beautiful bandit revolver to get out of that corner. Can't tell what button that was that whipped in the corner, but great call out. Tempest back dash, you're trying oh. to get away from Soul, and that's exactly what I was talking about. He gets the whip this? punish with the 5K, the he still gets super. Is this gonna kill? That should kill. Say Jam, take note. Oh my god, it was the scaling, it was crazy. But still the Berserker to get the kill. But the Zvite coming in here once again. Oh my. 6 oh, nah, nah, not gonna, not gonna work this time. You gotta start reaching for those. The defense yeah. from Mochi has been so good, so you gotta make sure you're still awake. Paying oh, attention. There's the flash Berserker. kick, and then of course he gets a mix up off of that. Full combo conversion. You can get the wall break if he wants. Yep, and he's gonna take it, and he's gonna do it with the hard knockdown. Launch through the wall here. Tempest trying to tie this up, but again, we've seen Mochi with some cr incredible comebacks here. The tap dust! No burst on the side of Mochi here. Gonna build the meter for the super, but no! Super. Where's the super? Did he drop that? He dropped back turn super. It looked oh, like that's why he still got the back turn in. in the face! Oh, no. Oh, oh my God! Oh, so bad! You are a bad oh, guy. Gee. You are a bad oh, guy. That was not supposed to work. What? <laughs> we had a little bit of a salty burst right there from Tempest. I don't think that was the right situation for that. But now Mochi is at match point. Oh my gosh. Tempest had that if he had just done the super. And now here we go. Big punish on the flash kick. This is going to be a wall break. And he's going to get a hard knockdown off of this potentially. Oh my gosh. The damage. Oh, what? Got the counter hit, but nothing to follow it up. Oh. Ballas gets out of there. No meter on the side of Tempest right now. 100% was on the side of Mochi. He spends 50% on the RC. Yep. There you go. Trying to use those armor points right there. Nice IVs from Mochi to stay within the range. He's got the RC. Should be a finish it off. Tempest already taking off the headset. And there you go. Mochi eliminates Tempest how your opponent's gonna approach the grand finals, what characters they're gonna play. You can try out some unorthodox strats and it's not too risky because you have a whole set to fall back on. Winner's finals is ever important to get into that position. Now, skill of TY, I mean, they have been two dominant players today. TY, of course, the movement has been off the charts, whether it be with Giovanna, whether it be with Chip. As you mentioned, three O's and three ones, people can barely catch them. On the other end, Mochi has been, or excuse me, skill has been slugging it out. Like, he is here, <laughs> yeah. he is precise with the soul. And I mean, you said the three twos, but that could get
get the adrenaline going, yes, you know what absolutely. I'm saying? It can definitely work to his favor. Yeah, and so busting out the Giovanna again here, TY again, having the access to both of the characters. But the interesting thing is both of the characters similar, you know, the way he plays them, you know, very uh, distant spacing and very fast, but skill is just swinging right now. My man was covering, he was like, you're gonna take these meaties. So no vegan options here today. Perfect stuff from Skill. As soon as T.Y., no matter what the recovery angle was, no matter if it was a scramble, he was there with the button. All right, so Skill looking strong over here. Again, he's a world champion in so many other fighting games as well. So might as well take his skills over here. But he knows what it takes, right? He knows the work you have to put in, the decisions, the kind of mindset you have to be in to take these world championships. Oh, the back throw incident after the back dash. You know how we get down. Instant block from TY, but he was expecting some type of cancel. Skill didn't give him anything, and now he's still maintaining control of the corner because of it. Oh, yeah. Get the super. Right. Yeah, gets the hard knockdown here. Let's see how he decides. Does he go for the safe jump? No, just runs right in there with the close slash, and Ty took it, and so had to burst to stay alive. What a tech. Yeah, 100% tension on Ty's side. Oh, my goodness, he couldn't quite get that, and the dust gets chucked. Yeah, oh, trying to more. sneak in the dust and Ty's reaction with that two frame throw and gonna get, yeah, and keeping the combo burst safe. TY coming right back here, taking round number two. It was very interesting to me that TY didn't RC after like the second throw, but it was really that burst consciousness, right? He didn't want to give skills something to burst out of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Volcanic Viper, you want to try to do something to me? Uh -uh. <laughs> So, so tight in this first game, right? Both players already taking around here. You can see the respect they're both showing as well, hardly over committing at all. Right, but one of the important things is, you know, uh, you can see right now, Skill not swinging a lot, you know, not giving TY that opportunity to play that kind of, you know, sit back and then all of a sudden dash in and whiff punish kind of game. Yeah, Skill, he's a very complete fighting game player, you know? He really doesn't just have one style that he relies on. He can uh, play the whole video game. Yeah, but, oh, yeah, you see, as soon as he whipped, he kept it safe, gets the counter hit with the bandit revolver and a burst from T.Y. Yeah. And an instant jump forward. Oh, he tried to chase down. Yeah, after the whip kick here, oh, my goodness, scrambling to try to get this last bit of health on both Dude, sides. the counter hit. The instant air dash back. Ain't no throws to be found here. Skill gets the big punish and takes the first game in winner's finals. Oh, and a nail biter right there. It was just coming down to such a scramble at the end. And like you said, Skill taking it with that instant air dash fade away in the corner. May we is a popular phrase in another fighting game, but we might be hearing it today. The way Skill is playing right now. Trying to fish counter hits. There it is with the 2D God right there. Yeah, most definitely deleting that space in front. Skilled, always been so accurate with the Volcanic Vipers. Yeah, how many has he had blocked? Like, very few, honestly. I don't even remember, bro. And T.Y., though, he's going to get a chance. Great back throw for himself. Oh, yeah, back dash. Taking advantage of that with 5K, yeah. but another one, bro. Get your spiral arrow out of here. Put him in the corner. Oh, oh reach it. Yeah, got a, got a burst right there. Keep yourself alive. Keep yourself with the life lead here. Covers the throw with. Oh, no, Skill thought he was going to keep the aggression on. Try to Volcanic Viper his next option, but T.Y., Backing up to safety. T.Y.'s like, there, you see? I got him to whip that DP, okay? Finally, yeah. <laughs> but the thing with skill, right, and in that circumstance, I don't think that's much of a mental blow. Like, he's not going to be deterred from his oh, Volcanic no. Viper style. No, not at all. Nice here, corner pressure again. With, for T.Y. here, not letting skill out of this corner. And look at that, just from downtown, dashing up, getting the throw out of nowhere. Oh, and again, being aggressive, getting the throw out to the Volcanic Viper. Goes to the Super to dodge the first. Are you kidding me, T.Y.? <laughs> nah, son, you ain't supposed to have that much awareness, bro. Yeah, I, I don't mean, care who you are. It was such a great option right there, because if he didn't burst, it would have hit. It would have killed him. If he burst, it would have just gone right through it. I sure. Mean, that is some It just, to me, it looked right like there. reaction to the burst. But you're right. It would have covered mad things. It was just wild to see. <laughs> Oh boy, and now this time the jump back in the corner for T.Y. So Skill gonna activate that burst to try to keep the corner in position right now. T.Y. Ha after having tied it up one to one. Man, that was such an impressive display. That's something that could definitely make you second guess, but Skill, we talked about it, not being deterred from the DPs. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, pressure, just not afraid to keep hitting buttons. T.Y. 
gonna have the meter for the super, but actually doesn't get a chance to activate it there. The wall splat happened a little bit earlier, and beautiful reaction to the whiff on the uh, on the bandit revolver. Indeed, and skill, you can see, oh my goodness, he's taking advantage of the conditioning that he's kind of established so far. Oh, by like letting that far S complete into the 5K, he's doing a great job. The whip kicks have been working overtime as well. So our was plus frames, that's why skill take it to the sky. Yeah, keeping that pressure over there. Oh, tried to 5K out of the air, but TY manages to avoid it with the air dash. And now there's the dash block from TY getting hit by the... Oh, did he, he touch a button? The cold skill? Test. Yeah, oh, he did, he did. Breakdance fighting real quick. Give me some space back. Oh, both players show respect after the plus frame. Oh, he knows the Viper is looming. Oh, oh, the 2D does not connect. The movement, the movement from, from TY oh. is ridiculous. But, oh, this is going to hurt, actually. It, Look at this. One more mix could potentially take it. TY, he's been active under those whip kicks. He has minus frames on that. And then again, picks the spot perfectly. The dash throw, low profiles the burst. My goodness, can this man do anything wrong? Dude, TY, that's the thing. TY was in a situation where it's like, oh my gosh, here comes skill for the comeback. You'd see a lot of players start kind of turtling up or clamming up a little bit. Not him. But TY was like, nah, I'm just going to dash up and throw you. I don't care. I, I, I don't care. My man TY said, he is I and I am him. <laughs> Straight up. Ooh, there it is. The 2D God, the Mago right there. Oh, again, just kind of uh, utilizes the 5K right. Putting it out there to keep skill locked down. Yeah, and there it is, the burst to keep the corner as well. And you can see skill, who has just been so aggressive this entire time, can't get out. Oh, he was so fortunate that that clip like that. T.Y., he's been baiting out the DPs after the small arrows consistently, too, the Javals. Like, he just wants him to bust out. Instead, dodging the bandit. She's so fast, so low on the dashes. They just gets out of there, punishes on the other side. This man is ridiculous. Yeah, T.Y., I mean, even though he's using characters with extreme pressure, you notice how he's not overdoing the pressure, right? He doesn't That's the key. That's the key. Yeah, the key. He doesn't care to keep the offense going. He dash kicks, he backs off. He dash kicks, he backs off. He doesn't care even if he gets the hit. See, there it is. We highlighted that similar style with Nampon, right? Like, that is what it takes to be successful at this level with these over-aggressive characters. Oh you gotta play the expectations against your opponent, and right now, he's setting up shot. Tech oh, dash, and it's all over. Breakdance fighting. TY gonna be winner side grand finals at Arc World Tour 2022. Sung Yu Sung Cha in DNF. When one won on the winner side and then the other one won on the loser side dominatingly. True. Nubenheimer and Mochi. Remember, Nubenheimer won the first time. Let's see if Mochi can turn it around. Yeah, that's a whole set of intel from Mochi. One of the, I mean, uh, legacy fighting game players of Guilty Gear. One of the all-time souls, no matter what game he's playing. So right now, giving him that intel is very dangerous. But Nubenheimer, I love that safe jump setup that he has. He really pushes it with Nagori Yuki. I don't see many players utilizing that. Of course, PRC to cover the whiff throw. Then we got the anti-air going. One round, almost already in the books. But we got a magic pixel. Yeah, not quite. And just <laughs> Throws it out. I mean, he saw it. That is such a common thing to do when it's not the hard knockdown. As soon as the transition's over, BRC to get the offense. So Nubenheimer just threw out the kick beforehand. That boot's got an anti magic field on the end of it, right? <laughs> Dude, no, no pixels. So here. good. Sorry, man. <laughs> He's doing the can can because that move can 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 do everything. <laughs> Oh, oh, look at that, the 2K, 2D. Get the pressure oh. into the corner, the wild throw, but that's gonna be a side switch. Oh my goodness, he went high with the bandage, just the fast RC low, uh-uh. Uh-oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. But Nubenheimer, he's so good at whiffing a button and then covering his next base. Yeah, and also really good at these comebacks as well. Oh, but not gonna happen here. Nubenheimer not gonna be able to burst at those up RCs, pop you so high, and they're always a great way to get burst save combos. Yeah, usually your ground normals, they have like a disjointed hitbox towards the higher end of them, so a lot of the time when you pop them up like that, your subsequent combo is gonna be burst safe. Yeah. And here, oh, you see, there it is, Mochi with the infamous dash forward, and then just see what happens. But he's oh, oh we talk about the far S P R C games from Newmanheimer, the best in the business at it. Oh, oh yeah, that was yep. a little bit too close on the main blade, able to get a clean punish. He didn't cancel into anything. Yeah, he was scared at that point in time to try to raise the blood gauge too much, but he's got it at that level too, exactly where he wants it, so oh, he yeah. gets that 5H like that. You see him charging that ba uh, the bandit bringer from the sky over there. 
That was such a good way. He just wanted to use that to get into it. Now look at what he's made out of it. Oh, YRC yeah. Newmanheimer's gonna get another chance. Try to catch him. Flinch it on the but 2S. Mochi has the burst. He has a burst available. Well, he didn't have meter. He didn't build to it. He was very close to getting to the RC and he did not. So Mochi with the recognition and punish very quickly. Yeah, he was probably like, okay, this will probably build yeah. it. And he was off by maybe a pixel or two. Barely, yeah. Barely a pixel or two. And again, remember, Newbenheimer beat Mochi 3-0. So Mochi has already won one. One more game than he did the first time on the winner's side. Dangerous, Brown. The type of momentum he's building is out of control as well. You see the dash blocks. We highlight that. That's one of Mo our Mochi's great characteristics in Strive. Ooh, Beyblade into nothing again. Yeah, because he knew he was going to burst if he had tried to do anything else. Gets the burst from uh, uh, Mochi right there. Chases down the back dash. Yeah, Mochi just saw the RC come out. He was too close for comfort. Tried to back dash, but slowed down with it. What a pickup off that. Gets a 2 H, and all these H is going to keep his blood gauge nice and stabilized at that level. What a Ooh, time but... to instant air dash. Ridiculous timing for Mochi right there. Escapes the corner. I mean, he is the one hit away now from the win. Oh, it's so nice to get the Oh, and, but Wires is nice block on the tap dust. Here's the guard break. Tries oh, to fake a throw. Didn't flinch at that. Such disciplined defense. And yeah, he had to FD the normal right. The big sword will chip Look you out. Look how close he's about to burst, dude. Like, he was like pixels away from that blood gauge. Oh! Immediate burst from Newmanheimer. He's trying to hold on to this heart. Oh, yeah. And again, you have to round. FD all of those normals. He doesn't have any health to spare to chip at this point. He's so scared to move forward. Oh, he got in with the bandit bringer. For the bandit bringer, a nice job for Mochi against swiping at him. Looked like Mochi was trying to make something happen because he knew he couldn't take any more chip. All right, caught him out of the air, forced him to land and block this pressure now. Oh, I like that faking it now with the jump H. Yeah. Oh, with punish on the Beyblade. See that that uh. uh Fafner right there is the is like a, a frame kill basically for the meaty. Oh mad damage here. You're gonna complete with the tyrant rave. Oh, and it does kill off Nagora Yuki. Most effective health in the game be damned. <laughs> oh, the clash cancel right there. Ends up in a trade anyway. Nubenheimer will take it though. The Beyblade is gonna increase that blood, but the Fukio gets checked immediately. Yeah, Nubenheimer now. No access to special moves unless he breaks. Oh, he's just shy of bursting. Ooh. And then you see all those instant box. It keeps him at that normal jump range, right? Where Nubenheimer is used to going with certain things because you get pushed out. You're not being pushed out, so he gets clean jump ins on Nago. Here we go. The pressure fakes the follow up there or fakes the RC and just goes for the throw. And he should be able to get the kill here with the Tyrant Rave. Here we go. And just like that, we talked about how dangerous giving a full set of intel is to Mochi. And you see what he's doing with it now on the loser's bracket side of things. Up 2-0 on Nubenheimer. Uh, again, 3-0 from Nubenheimer's side. But how quickly things can turn around when you run. And especially when you win the first time, you're like, OK, I got it. And now you run into him again, and you're like, shoot, what did I do? <laughs> Are we really about to get two souls in top three? Wow. Top tier character, dude. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Nubenheimer, though. He is out here trying to prevent that timeline, prevent that fate. But he's got to bring it back three games straight if he's going to do it. Oh, you never want to headbutt him, bro. Hey, never want to headbutt a gear, even if you got a helmet. Look, on winner's side, he 3 owed Mochi before, oh, but oh my goodness. All this conditioning set him up for the wild throw, the regular throw afterwards. Mochi is cooking right now. He just threw him like five times in a row there. The disrespect and gets the burst out of Nubenheimer right away. Nuben tried for some aggressiveness, but Mochi with the round start is there. Dash back jump S just stuffed his option. And again, switching sides on him now, faking the gun flame. He wants him to flinch, but wow, Nubenheimer gets a huge back throw. Oh, Volcanic Viper makes it not that huge. Oh, again, you're not going to respect my wake-up options. I'll teach you these lessons. And here we go, gets the wall splat off of this. Is going to, no, just punches him through. Oh, he didn't have the meter. I'm sorry, that was Nubenheimer's meter. Oh, there's that dash block again that Mochi is so proficient at. There's that late cancel, but it wasn't a counter hit, so he couldn't link. Yeah, just the 2K, that's so low again now. Rising, it would look like maybe a double jump. Either way, he gets to the height that kind of just disrupted his anti-air attempt. PRC, 5K in response. Mochi takes it over Nubenheimer. Got some ass, bro, some far ass. Better watch it. Some six ass. <laughs> you don't know out who's here. listening. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> about to get out here, bro. Soul bad guy in the building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I mean, there's so much like interesting stuff about this matchup, as we see already oh, oh the hit goodness. into the corner. Yeah, skill with all kinds of offense here. Runs a safe jump immediately. But that's the thing is that about this character is that so many ways to 
to approach the pressure. You can be really active. I mean, just raw bandit revolver from skill from downtown. He had the meter, so why not? And oh. the wildest of throws. Mochi in trouble right now. Oh, that's the, you're dead. Uh -huh. <laughs> I didn't think you were gonna get the wall, but skill coming in with the perfect. He was like, yo, that was really nice what you were doing in those last games. And let the wind, and the wind poles rock as well. Okay. Yeah, and I feel like skill is the more aggressive of the two, actually, right? So, oh. <laughs> Wow. Oh, looks like we're having some technical issues, perhaps. We're going to have our team get to the stage, talk to the players, and make sure everything is cleaned up, because we do have a technical issue real quick to get solved. But and we want to make sure all these players have the optimal experience, right? Of course, this is the World Championship on the line. You know what, Steve? I don't like talking about fighting games. <laughs> don't? I don't know why. I mean, I, I, oh, oh well, never mind. OK, yeah, the game is started. My bad, back sorry. So round down, of course, we saw Mochi have the issue. Back into it, told everybody, got it sorted, and we're back into the match. First game between these two, first to three. Winner gets that shot in grand finals against TY. Mm -hmm. Oh, RC. And that's a good thing about restarting this, too, because you don't keep the meter anyway in Guilty Gear. So once you go yeah. to that round, everything starts in there. Oh, and that's a humongous bait and immediately has to get off that burst. Oh, blocking. Yeah, you can see right there Mochi with some elegant uh, movement right there. But now the burst out of Mochi as well. But a little bit of a danger right there for Mochi for a negative penalty. But he's going to get the hit, go offense here. That's not going to be a problem. I love that little 2K action, too, with the BR right after Mochi was ready for it. And looking to tie up the round count here. And Ooh. that little dash block, you get a huge confirm. He yeah, just two S right away hit. and just goes right in there. Like I said, Skill and his Bandit Revolver is just ridiculous. He goes in there, gets a counter hit with that. Both of them sitting on a full meter. Oh, and the cart, that was so good right there. Just a little far slash. Goes for that uh, nice little gun flame after. Has the PRC ready. Mochi just super prepared. So we're even here. Round a piece in his first game. Ugh. Caught the back dash. And look, lots of baits for Mochi. He's really trying to bait these DPs, and Skill is getting away with a lot of it because of it. He's like, all right, cool. You don't want to pressure me? I just get the back up. That back dash for Mochi to cause Skill to whiff. Ooh, holding that FD does not want to engage. Wow, the 2D from so far throws the DP. Nice. Oh, tried nice. to go, go for, for the whip throw again. Not going to work out. Looks to the low. Oh, and that that could have been whip punish. It was yeah. a little close. Mm -hmm. Stayed in front. Chases down. Nice and confirm into that banner revolver, but right there, skill with a wake up DP. A little dash blocking, too, and that trade was very scary. Oh, and there's the purse. Mochi built his back, too, though. Oh, that, too far away for the 2D to connect. Oh. How often does that happen right there? It can happen. And I mean, I, the presence from Mochi right there to hit the far slash was really, really impressive. He had the far slash, immediately didn't even hit 5H, just did Banner Revolver after because it was the most consistent option. And he was ready, so goes up a game. Impressive stuff there. Oh, just counter hit right away. And you have to be careful how you burst on that, too, because sometimes, you know, people can just catch you, go for the burst bait right away on that counter hit far slash. Nice. Interrupt with the sweep, but now this time Mochi's turn with the wake up DP. Oh, again, back to back. Sending a message here, really trying to make it so he did it again. And just there's the burst right away. Skill does not want to deal with that hard knockdown or anything. Dashes in, baits it, and that's a big punish here. Has the corner. Dude, Skill wanted to prove he could do the wake up DPs as well, and Mochi was like, ah, nah, I got that. No kill, though, and he's got the meter to go here. Which is super spooky, and he stuffs the bandit what? revolver with the 2K. I thought that would low crush. Not quite. Oh, and then the dash block right away. Again, catching him back dash. Ooh, and almost broke the wall. It's one hit away right there. It's gonna be pressure here. Throw again, and this is such a bad spot. Yeah, immediately the wild throw, and this is so hard to burst too. Burst safe all the way to the wall, and that's the kill from it. Genius combo structure from Mochi. Mochi. Keeping his wits about him, not getting too flustered there. Skill just seems like it was Mochi was one step ahead in this situation. Yeah, all, up on that one. all the way burst safe to the wall too, which is really, really sick to see. Oof. Ooh, and that IP forced that little 5k interaction right there. Skill was ready and both of them off burst really fast in this match. Almost had a whip punish right there as well. Ooh. He went for that little FD cancel, jump kick, cross up, and then whip punish again from Skill. Skill starting to find a lot more of these hits. RC blocks the staircase. Oh, counter hit into the bandit. Going to fight back, stand in neutral. 
Skill trying to get out of the corner. RC down, gets the side switch, big damage here, and the wall break. Yeah, that Fafner, most damaging wall break option there, so that's what you go for if you don't have the meter. Ooh, dashing in, trying to find the whiff on that 2S, and the big confirm right here, the positive bonus for the extra damage, and, and the, the wall break, and the meter. Uh, uh, dead through the glass. The, you see the smoke trail as the body <laughs> goes to the other glass. <laughs> Is that a firework? Make a wish. <laughs> That's so bad, guys. Boot cut jeans. <laughs> Just bursting through the seams. There he goes. Pressure again. Ooh, and that stagger. One thing about Mochi is he does a lot of like, you know, uh, close slash or far slash, a lot of nothing. Just waits to see what kind of defensive option you're going to represent. A lot of people will hold FD and stuff, and he's just not committing to anything. Oh, Twist got the counter hit, calls out the burst. Mochi doing such a great job of holding the middle of the screen. Wake up 5K, got the knockdown and fights out of the corner. Staircase gets the counter hit, close this. Look at the damage skill is putting on that life bar, Mochi. Yeah, but Mochi with the meter advantage here, so he can kind of go first if he wants to. Otherwise, Skill's going to build that bar. Oh, that's huge. Barcy for the burst. And trying to make it as burst safe as possible. Yeah, he did that jump in, and then the whiff, 2S hit, and he still did the 2S counter hit S. My man's just trying to S. He's got plenty of meter. Oh, my God. And that confirmed from Skill. To the presence of mind to know that far slash 2H was going to reach, which scoops you up, and then you get the 5K after. That awareness was so... Good, and now we have a game on the board for skill. Oh, geez, started out with it. Two counter hits. Well, counter hit got two close S's there. Ooh. Ooh, and they both did it at the same time. Mochi just a little faster there, gets the counter hit, and big challenge from skill. Big burst right away. Mochi does not want to lose that offense. He wants to keep the momentum. He sold DP, starting to add up for Mochi. Oh Whoa. my god, did you, that looked like a no whip video. Like it was like a no yeah, hit dude. whip compilation in the back. That's on the BR. It legit looked like an old Guilty Gear intro. That's what it looked like was <laughs> happening right there. Uh-oh, gets the wall bounce. Plenty of meter on both sides, too. Yeah, does not spend the bar, I think, because Mochi wants 50 meter here to go with the interaction right here. Oh, the bandit to go smooth over it. Skill still alive. Wake up, Volcanic Vibe. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. At set point now for Mochi, which is huge here. Man, that clash cancel, double jump, bandit bringer. Like, that situation was so wild between the two of them. See Mochi playing really patient here, not trying to give up anything too big. Just holding FD, a lot of dash blocking, very patient. Bro, my man, Skill is playing some video games. You see the facial expressions coming out right now? That's how you know my man is trying. Mm -hmm. And he gets the car DP there because it was a crouching hit. So really good confirm from Skill. Double jump, Mochi's out. Oh, 2S counter hit once again. Skill slowly but surely fighting his way back into this game. Still down around Mochi on set point. Oh, and that jump K air to air. Oh, and the 5K right away. Man, Skill's reactions, he was ready right there. Consistent thing from skill. Oh, counter hit. Meter two. Gets the corner. Wake up DP again for Mochi. Oh, but drops the combo. Skill has a chance. Yeah, and skill also could have had a game winning hit earlier and just a little bit of a drop. Now Mochi, same kind of thing, and that's the confirm. No! 6H doesn't hit. Another life for Mochi. And there's no burst for skill, but the whip punish on the bandit bringer. Mochi loves bandit bringing in and then either playing RPS after or it just he's so good at the post situation. Yeah, he does he does dash block IV sometimes, sometimes he DP, sometimes he back dashes. Whoa, the whip punish on that extended hurt box of success. Almost got the whip punish there on that 5k whip. Skill retaliating a lot with his 5k. Mochi starting to get wind of it too. Ops with the 2k instead, gets the knockdown, keeps the pressure into the corner. Yeah, and you know, a lot of fishing with 2S. Both of them just trying to find some kind of hit that's low risk here, not wanting to whip anything, throws the DP. And Mochi, very scary now. Wild Throw is going to kill with RC, so you got to be careful about that. Two catches the backdash. RC on this. It's close. I think it's enough. No, no it's just a 2H. A sliver of life. Oh, God, skill. BRC. Counter hit the 5P, gets the corner, breaks the DP. Skill, you madman. But look at the meter on the side of Mochi. He's going to get the wall break. Oh, but Mochi has. A hundred oh, meter wow. to spend. BRC is forward. He got the empty cancel. Oh, and the goal burst hits. Now he has a hundred meter. Oh Air through. Oh my god, that was so scary. The jump K, jump D, jump double jump, jump H for the kill. Mochi moving on to grand finals over. We got an all Japan grand 
finals here and two players who are so fun to watch. Really, really just explosive, impressive, technical gameplay. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, if you think about it, we got Soul Bad Guy, returning character, and Giovanna, a brand new character mm. potentially, if he chooses to stick with Gio compared to the chip. I wonder what we're going to see a returning or brand new characters later if that's going to be in the car. Don't do that, bro. Don't do that. We need to focus. Again, baby. I don't know anything. Not while I'm in striking distance. <laughs> that, <laughs> I'm going to leave the... I'm going to be home by the time that announcement is happening for my own safety. <laughs> my arms are already lost. The lost. Say, Did yeah. you see the Please no. <laughs> I'm going to be driving. I'm going to swerve off the freeway. <laughs> But yes, indeed, here we go again. Stick around after Grand Finals. We're going to have announcements for DNF Duel and Guilty Gear Strive. But one more time, let me hear some noise for Grand Finals of Guilty Gear Strive. And here we go. These two battled all day long. And TY just in winner side, absolutely looking incredible. Up against Mochi here, who's just battled from losers from the very, very beginning. And has like another character just in case things don't work out. Um, but even still, Mochi with the soul, I feel like, just balance play, big damage that can come out of Ether, but mostly out of Soul at this point. So it's going to be up to Ty to keep Mochi on his toes. And already the life lead is looking real good for Giovanni. Yeah, and one thing that is a big problem for Soul is like you know he has to play so compact against this character because she can just dash in, get all kinds of pressure. Look at that confirm! Oh my God! And it's going to be a wall break, and it's going to be a kill. This character, she has such good movement and a really just strong low profile pokes here in our 2K 2D. So Soul kind of has to play tight to the chest. We saw Skill doing that in their winner's final set, and it was very hard for him to contest and get anything going on TY. No, nah, it's definitely true. And on top of that, TY does such a great job of like checking your neutral. Uh, not in that instance, but just being able to dash up, whether it be 2K, uh, 5H, 5S, just keeping you honest. Then likes to switch it up and start going for the throws. Actually punish something right there. Gets the cross up, calls out the burst, 6S into the corner, RC, not gonna get the wall break, but still right there. Ooh, would have got it if he got that 2k at the very end here. And this faster should be the kill. Not quite a pixel left. And he had two chances to kill there, unfortunately. She's got so much bar. There's the RC. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, it wasn't going to kill. There's the PRC. Got to watch Bandit Bringer, and he doesn't go for it. He's just backing up a little space. 50% meter on the side of Mochi. Gets the counter hit confirmed for TY. Jump. PRC to jump out, air throw, set her on fire on the way down. Yeah, the movement there from Moji. I love the patience, not the bandit bringer the first time, right? Just waited it out. That's a punish. Yeah, that's a really good option against Soul 2. It's high hitting, it's good for catching his far slash, his success, stuff like that. Dashes out, answers with a 2P. Moji keeps his wits about him, stays calm, and answers back with a 2P of his own, and keeps his corner with a nice little knockdown combo into the throw. Mm -hmm. Looking for that close slash pressure. BR goes low, gets the wall slag, gets the break, and gets the kill. First game there going to Mochi. I do want to point out one thing. Ty, Ty is the only player that has not had a 3-2 match. The oh, entire man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's just been, I mean, he's looked incredibly dominant in his performances so far. And you have to wonder, you know, all those games and loser side, Mochi just clutching it out game after game after game if he's feeling real warm. That's what happens when you come from the loser side. You're playing so many games that you're like, I'm ready now. Whereas, you know, T.Y. was waiting, watching in the wings, waiting for whoever made it out of the of the Sharks, the Sharks pool on the loser side. Oh, wow, RC goes for the low, calls out the burst for T.Y., says, you know what, I don't want any of that damage. And on top of that, you were in the corner, so it's probably going to be a wall break. Yeah. Yes. Defensive 2S is so good, man. It's just such a wall you can put up and stop people from coming in, but there's just the hit. super, yeah. Gonna smoke that close slash, and Mochi with some bar, but gotta find a way to use it. No, oh, you're right about 2S. Oh, wow, confirm RC down. Should be done. Mmm, Mochi. Uh, yeah, he's really just finding a lot of opportunity. I think the biggest thing is, you know, TY's dashing up, doing 2Ks and 5Ps and all this kind of stuff, and Mochi's just weathering the storm, and that is a huge counter hit starter. Big damage on top of that. Doesn't break the wall. Next hit kills here for Mochi, though. You see the big delay close slash. Oh, tries the 6P, gets clipped by the gun flame. That's gonna be a tyrant. Uh, Rave still alive. A little bit. Gotta see if there's gonna be a burst spot for TY here. Immediate burst. But nothing really to do after. Yeah, I mean, you have no bar. You have no health to work with. Mochi just very safe. 2K is gonna be 2K 2D. 
go for Bandit Revolver, go for 50-50 after, and he's up a quick 2-0 here. And you, if you notice, he dashes into these ranges where it's like, yo, am I going to do S? Am I going to do like 6S? Am I going to do a 2S? I'm just going to dash up, keep the momentum, 2K. Yeah, and one thing he does, I think, more than any other Soul player is dash 2P. 2P is also really useful to threaten against the bullet. That was going to hurt. Against a character like this, because she has such good low profile moves, so 2P is, yeah, you see it right there, dashing 2P, a very, very safe kind of uh, conservative option to his. And you can see he's starting to switch this air dash S, air dash H, just to, just to catch you, just in case you go a little bit too far. And that was a counter hit confirmed there on that 2K 6S. Double overhead, looking for it. This is great. Lots of damage, and it's gonna be the wall break. Didn't quite have the super there, but got the Fafner anyway. 2K whip. Oh, thought we were gonna see a 6P confirm right there. Lots of 2Ps. Trying to look for a confirm. Spins oh. the RC. BRC to get out of the wild throw range. T Y O oh my. Mm -hmm. Was ready right there. And I mean, that's the thing. You want to get out of that situation. You see the throw whiff. You're like, oh, I guess I get to kill you. A oh, success, double success there from Mochi and TY. Just navigating around it really well. Oh, 2S. We were talking about it. Those defensive 2Ss. Oh. Yeah, and I love that Mochi doesn't heartbeat the burst there. He just lets him do it. He's like, okay, if you want to go for it, that's totally fine with me. Choosing here to go for the wall break. Or not quite, just barely one hit short. Oh, tapped us. Didn't build a meter. Mochi was so close. Oh. Speaking of spinning the meter, YRC just stopped the mix up altogether. Dash up throw. Mochi. Playing a brave neutral game here versus T.Y. Yeah, when you block 5H like that from Geo, dash block is so good because if she goes for the wolf kick and you happen to block it up close to Soul, you get a punish. You just do 5K and it's an easy peasy punish. So, you know, he was ready for it. It's a really good spot for Mochi to dash block when he saw no action. He went for the throw and look at this corner position already for Mochi, the jump back though. Man, those 2Ks are really getting a lot of mileage. Wow, look at that new combo routing, getting the wall splat and the side swap just like that. T.Y. doesn't win this round. We already got our reset. We talked about how quick that 2-0 came. Jumps out of there. Tries oh. to go forward throw. That was a beautiful escape from Mochi. Oh my. Not quite the whip punish. BRC here. This is going to be big. And already you saw the burst on that 5-H whip. Throw. a meter for Giovanni. Double jump from Mochi. Oh, he got crossed up. Couldn't see it in time. That should be the kill. Even with those little 5 PRC in the middle. So TY putting a game on the board. Okay, okay. I thought we were on the verge of a quick reset already, but yeah. TY says, you know what? I've been chilling for a minute. I've been watching you play. Let me get my wits back. Let me get my hands back warm. Mm -hmm. And I, th I think that's probably the plan, right? Let Mochi commit a, more, uh, a bit more and then see what he's about to throw down and then answer that. And TY has been really good about that all day. Wow, the IB, 2P to answer back, almost made something big happen. Big counter hit, baits the burst with the up RC, and this is not good. A lot of times, he's been taking like the Oki in this situation. Knockdown, OTGS, this time gets the wall break, hoping oh. for the kill, there's the 2S. Excuse me, the bandit, excuse me. Yeah, that walk back on the whip punish 2S was so good. And I mean, this is the thing, both of them dash block a lot, right? Because in this game, it's extremely good. If you dash block something and you IB it, it makes it a little bit easier for you to punish because you're up close and wow. Just a lot of that dash blocking getting called out from both of them here, just playing so safe. Oh, that throw whip was so scary. Once again, Mochi. Reset, turning the point right now. DPRC side switch on top of it. Big damage on the wall here. Mm -hmm. Not quite enough to kill, but Mochi in an excellent spot. He just has to wait for this positive bonus to build him some bar. You see him just chilling. Jump back. There's a throw. This could be the start of something. Still got quite a ways to go. Yeah, and he's about to have 50 meters, so expect something in an RC pretty quick here from Mochi. Seeing how he's been using these DPs and just the neutral dust to get the reset on the entire tournament point. Both of these side guys going to the loser side here. T.Y. pulling out the phone already. He's like, you know what? Let me check my notes. Yeah, let me let me open up uh, Mochi dot, you know, EXE and see what I got in here. Because especially, you know, just notice the, the patience from Mochi, right? He was just like, okay, I don't have to do anything. I'll just wait for positive bonus to tick in. I get 50 meter, immediately just go for something. Banner revolver, 50-50. That's all you need. You don't need anything fancier than that. And I think that's really smart. You were talking about how Mochi was just like backing up. He was like, look, I'm not going to bait anything. Like, I know if you want to burst, I'll legit just let you have it. And really, I feel like that's even better because that way you don't have to worry 
worry about contesting it as much. It's not going to put you in as much danger. Yeah. And you get to keep that pressure, especially if it's like a blue burst. You're relieving your own mental stack, right? That's why I like that Sage Jam highlighted. He's going with the simple, efficient yeah. stuff, right? Especially this long of a day. It's a grueling <laughs> tournament to go through, right? At this point, your mental is going to be wearing thin. So I really like him adjusting for that, taking that into account. I mean, he's a veteran for a reason. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and again, this is the first time in Ty. T.Y. has been 3-1, 3-0, 3-1, and here comes Mochi. But like we said, going to losers in the first round and then all of a sudden having all that experience playing all those matches and now you're just coming in hot for yeah. this grand final. And he is playing incredible. I mean, he's had so many close sets already today, so I can't wait to see this after this. If you're TY, you got to dig deep here and try to get the job done after, you know, Mochi looked incredibly dominant in that first set. Still has another set behind both of them. Whoever wins this next set, though, will be your ARC World Tour 2022 champion for Guilty Gear Strive. It's getting serious, guys. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that reset felt like an inevitability almost once we saw that first game. Just clear domination there from Mochi. So we'll see if TY's got any kind of plan of attack here to change things up. O5P gets a small little float right there. Mochi just goes instantly to the defense. An air throw, love that. Gotta chase him out of the air. You can't let Mochi get away with just floating up there for a long time. Not breaking the wall with Super, something that TY does a lot because he usually likes to save the bar for pressure or something in neutral instead. Oh, wow. Delays the burst, gets a golden on top of that, and this gives Mochi a chance. Life deficit on his side, but struggling. Trying to find a hit right here. 6P goes for the RC, dust on top of it. Full combo here from TY and the Geo in game number one of the reset. Looking a little different already. Oh, yeah. And he just had to wait for the positive bonus to build the meter. Again, just play it safe when you have positive bonus. No need to commit to something big. Dashing into that. And I love the challenge right there from Mochi. Has seen that TY has done a lot of 2D and back, backing off or hitting a new button. Oh, counter hit. Big damage. RC on top of it. My man's trying to take you all the way to the wall. Look at the damage right here. And the wall break. Wow, Mochi. Yeah, casual 70% on that for Mochi. And now, again, he's about to build that positive bonus. Get the 50 meter. Easy peasy confirmed. Should be the kill here. Cool. Wow, Mochi with the turnaround. What a round rebuttal. Especially after such a good round from TY and the Geo. Oh, and he tried to dash 2P right there, and then the 5H catches him, counter hit, and it hits a little weird, didn't get the close slash. But still, a uh, nice chunk of damage on that life bar, great positioning as well. Mochi trying to fight back out of this corner. And you see the patience from Mochi, not even challenging, a little dash block there on the wolf kick, didn't believe in the 5K to punish, but still a good spot. Counter hit, I love that confirm from TY, so aware. Oh god, Mochi ran all the way in. Right, and, and I feel like it's just to close that distance, make you not use some of your better tools. That 2D from Geo, actually one of them. It's just some of the, oh wow, the normal buttons just to keep Mochi out. Says, you know what, I'm gonna take that away so you dash all the way up. And now has this corner positioning, PRC, to try to keep the pressure. Great air throw tech from both. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the raw PR caught the hit. Man, that was so scary there for TY. That was a jump cancel move, couldn't have baited the burst. Oh, and the dash and found the 2P, not a combo, but he's gonna build the bar for the RC. Oh, DP. DY in trouble. I've looked for throw like five times. Oh, but it doesn't kill it. Oh my god. The dash in far slash right at the end. TY on the board in this grand finals reset. Okay, takes the lead in the set now after the reset. And that was so scary right there, too. Just, you know. And they're playing so fast right now. Yeah, it was a nail biter right at the end. It just didn't have that confirmed to the wolf kick, but. Now there is, yeah, he tries the fuzzy jump and look at TY just tap, tap, tapping with that 5k. Trying to get something out of Mochi. Maybe a DP, maybe a button just to start the pressure. And there's the DP, gets the punish and instantly calls out the burst from Mochi. Mm -hmm. Drill and a drill, just catches Mochi and it's plus on block and you get a combo if it hits, so why not? Well, five H hits, that's a big one. And just challenge on wake up into the back throw. Uh oh, meter, full 100% meter. You can tell by the blue glow on Giovanna's skin. There's the burst. Don't get hit, Mochi. Oh, Don't God. get hit, Mochi. <gasps> he didn't double jump that time. You know, he's been doing that a lot. I love the empty jump right there. Just commits it big on the super with no bar to save himself. Mm, we've seen this before come from TY. It's not going to work this time. TY has definitely been not shy about going to that wake up overdrive, that wake up super in certain situations. Mochi, you can tell, starting to hit the brakes on some of these situations and able to call out the wake up super and actually gets that first round of game two of the reset. Oh, this is going to Hurt so bad. Lightweight character. He gets a big boy confirmed. Doesn't quite get the double clean hit, but that is a lot of life. Air throw was scary right there. Doesn't find it. And so now TY in the corner. Oh. Tap. 
Dust. Okay. Dust. Yeah. Oh. oh. Air dash S. Mm -hmm. And it was the little FD cancel in the air to get that side swap jump S. One game apiece between these two. Grand finals reset to see who's going to be our champion. Yeah, they're swinging. Oh, yeah. I got to say, the movement has been so impressive. Oh, my God. And he baited that 10 minutes ago. He walked all the way back. Is that jump D? Easy VV. And this is going to be a wall break. Oh, my gosh. The damage early on. Dashing in, trying to find something. Back throw RC. This should be the kill, unless there's a drop from Mochi. Oh, Mochi gets the last hit, a closeout, and the perfect at that. Once again, I feel like the round rebuttals between these two have been immaculate. Yeah, oh, that is huge. A lot of people try to throw there, and if you get hit by something like that, Wolf Kick, it's a huge starter again, counter hit, far slash. Not a huge confirm, could have been bigger, but Mochi went for the safe option. I love that Gunflame faint, and then just caught the air to air. Right. Air 5K falling, another Air 5K gets the full transition into the combo, breaks the glass, and here comes Mochi. Empty jump, actually gonna work out the burst switch aside for TY, and now you see Mochi trying to get out of the corner. Wait a minute, this is a long way back though. Mm hmm, and patiently out of the corner, although TY has bar to spend here. Cross up doesn't block it. He needs one big hit here. Mochi has bar and he spends it, but he can. Yeah, he has to wait. Has to respect that the air throw. He just finds it out of nowhere to go up 2 1 in the set. And we, this is the second time we've seen that air throw be one of the deal breakers for this Geo. Not able to keep that pressure going. Mochi aware of what's happening in the air. Get this, get out of it there. Air throw just to close out. That's another round on the board with just an air throw alone. Let you know how well Mochi's doing reading the movements coming from TY. Man, he got hit right there and then just reversal DP. On hit was like, I'm ready for it. Doesn't pull the trigger there though, and TY respected it a little bit. Mochi forced off the burst. That's another big hit. Oh, and goes for the wild throw. TY has also been bursting on, you know, some spots where people bait burst quite a bit. Wow, what a throw out of the success. PRC goes straight for the throw, gets the hit on the R slash. Uh oh. A lot of bar to spend for Mochi here. And just goes all in on the BR. Is there going to be a burst? Immediate from TY there. And Mochi was not pulling back that time. He's like, you know what? I'm going to go for the combo. You have to burst or I'm going to kill you. Speaking of getting killed, the throw from TY. The bravery just to go up front and just sit there. He says, you're not going to do anything. Right? I'm just going to dash the whole screen and then go throw you. Finds the counter hit into the 2H for the launch. Huge damage on this. Blocks the DP2 and is about to build. Oh, oh my god, has super, super two. Oh, that is gonna hurt. Not quite the kill. Mochi just built the burst, but he's down everything here. Look at this pressure. Oh my gosh, the dust is gonna hit. Almost baited the burst. Mochi delays just a bit, gets the air dash 5k once again. This is gonna be a, t a tall hill to climb. Finds the 2k, and this is already looking good for Mochi though. All right, what do you got, Mochi? He needs another hit on this round, and TY has bar to spend. <gasps> the big whip finds the counter hit, and he's got the meter for the RC here. Keeps it nice and easy. That's the kill. Mochi one round away. Here we go. What is TY going to do to turn this around? Yeah, and he doesn't quite have burst yet either, which is pretty scary here. Oh, God. Bannerbringer air block. That means he's plus. Chases on the back dash. Doesn't get the punish, but look at Mochi go. The risk is so high, too. Gets hit. And burst connects. That's a scary spot to burst, but it worked out. Dash up 5P looking for something. Mochi didn't take the bait. Oh, empty low RC in the wild throw. He did it again. One. Is I there another? It again. He yes, goes for the third is. one. Mochi, your Arc World Tour 2022 World Champion. And I'm telling you right now, Mochi was moving with the soul. TY not relaxing.